starting up. Okay, it's live. Brian, we do this thing called jazz hands like this. Uh, you know, there you go. Jazz hands, everyone. Jazz hands. Brian's from 704 Tacticals doing jazz hands. Walter's doing jazz hands. Doing everything. I'm doing jazz hands. We are live. I hope you have your non-belligerent <laughs> <laughs> panties on tonight. And I hope they are 50 BMG bulletproof because we are going to be talking. We're going to talk about a lot of stuff tonight, to be honest with you. Yeah. But we're talking to 704 Tactical. This Hi, dude guys. right here. He Glad is from. Are you? You're not the only one from 704, right? 704 is multiple dudes. It's it's mainly my channel, and then I've had a lot of turnover with uh, help. But oh. uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess that's why. That's why it looks like multiple dudes. Then <laughs> it is. I've got a good cameraman, Brett. He helps me out a lot. Goes to my church, but honestly, the editing, the video, I, everything's everything's me. So one man show. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to talk to Brian from 704 Tactical. Um, if you guys don't know what 704 Tactical is, it is a YouTube channel. It's really cool. I like their production and the subject matter and all that kind of stuff. And specifically, these bad boys have a 50 BMG video, which happens to have something to do with this big-headed dude right here. <laughs> <laughs> the Waltmeister. <laughs> Big John, and, the chimpy chief. <laughs> yeah, and that video is going, we could, uh, Brian, I think we could say viral, right? It's viral. I, I, that's my first viral video, yeah. So. Yeah, dude it's, dude, it's approaching, it didn't get to a million, it's approaching two billion. I know, I'm excited. That's, yeah. that's wow. wow. Yeah, that's, that's cool. pretty, pretty, pretty awesome. I hope it's monetized. It is. They uh, demonetized it as soon as I put it up, and then I appealed, and they finally got it back up before hmm. it went. Up, so. Oh, awesome. Good, good. Okay, so because we, we want you to Excellent. reap the benefits of all the awesomeness. I think it's a really good video. So if you guys don't know about that, just go on YouTube, search 704 Tactical, make sure you subscribe, check out that video and other videos. I mean, you know, like open it in another window and, you know, <laughs> just don't leave here right now. So we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk to Walter, see what's going on with him. What's up with you right now, Walter? I'm eating a little food, but... um. <laughs> okay, cool. No, sorry about that. Um, no, I'm... Um... Things are progressing. Uh, actually, today, you know what I did today? What? I ordered 100 tail hooks. Uh, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> you threw I, me for a loop. I thought you said 100 tail hooks. I said 100. I, I pulled the trigger on a, on 100 tail hooks. Yeah. Damn, you're baller status. Uh, you know. Baller. So, what well, are you saying? Gonna... Like, we're all getting tail hooks for Christmas? <laughs> Is that what's it's going on? You get a tail hook. Christmas. Yeah. yeah, you get a tail hook and you get one. You get one. No? <laughs> Um, well, you know, it was offered. I was asked if I wanted to be a dealer, and I said sure. And we're gonna we're gonna start putting them on um, on things we make, and then um, and I'll sell a few of them too. So because um, they mm -hmm. seem to move pretty well, so it's a hot okay. item. So. Okay, cool. Um, I, I don't know if I will get a hundred to start, but I placed an order for a hundred because he's kind of busy and he's got orders already outstanding and stuff like that, and I'm kind of jumping in in the middle, so. Oh, okay, cool. Um, let me just stop for a second. Curtis West gave us two bucks. All right. And his comment is 10. So it's 10.00. I'm not really sure, Curtis. What's up, You'll Curtis? have to tell us what that means. But um, here's what I'm going to do. I, you know what? I usually go down the thing and shout people out and all that kind of stuff, the folks that are hanging out with us in the live chat. And um, I, I would do that. I usually do it. And definitely the, uh, I want to shout out everyone that's in there. But I think um, I wanted to stop for a second because today our live chat is a little bit crazy. And so I think I'll take some time and talk about what's going on in there. And this has nothing to do with you guys because you weren't here last night. You know, I almost feel like, you know, that guy who goes, can we have a little conversation? <laughs> so I think we need to have a little conversation about what happened last night. You know, here I started this show so that I can make a platform where we could talk about all kinds of things. You know, we don't just talk about guns. We talk about sex and politics and religion at times. We talk about all kinds of things here. That's why I started the channel. I wanted not only for me to have an opportunity to do that, but other people to have an opportunity to talk. And I think as long as people realize that, we're probably going to get along really well. I think there's some folks that don't understand what that really means. And it's kind of like uh, disheartening to me to, to think that, there's all these guys who say they believe in freedom, but then they want to take freedom away from other people. And what I mean by that is last night we, we were talking about reciprocity. We had a good conversation about that. Somewhere in the conversation, we switched over to race, which we've done before. We've 
talk. We've had that conversation about race yeah, before. We have. It happens every now and then. I don't know why. I don't know why we would talk about race. It might have something to do with the person who's doing this, sh hosting this show. <laughs> every now and then we have that conversation. Um, and then there's people who get mad about that. And my, my response to you is that's too damn bad. You know, uh, we're going to talk about whatever the hell we want to and even things that make you feel uncomfortable. But that's the right that we have. Why would you want to take that away from us? And even if you want to, I'm not going to let you take it away from me. You know, there's people I think. And, and what I mean by that is we're talking about uh, minorities and, and their relation to guns and, you know, how how they feel about the Second Amendment community in terms of whether or not the Second Amendment community is open and welcoming to them. Well, guess what? All the people who were saying to me that they don't want to have this conversation and they don't want to hear anything about the black thing or whatever, honestly, you're answering that question. Because you're saying you don't want to have a conversation about, pe about people of color or minorities in, in relation to the gun community. And that is like whoever feels that way, I invite you to just go about your business and do whatever you want to do. Uh, it's really not necessary for you to be here. Okay, that's the way I feel about it. I think we should be able to have these uncomfortable conversations and say things that are in our mind and be able to work through it and get it out of the way. But if you're just going to try to shut me down by telling me what I could talk about, then you probably never met me. <laughs> Because I'm going to talk about whatever the hell I want. He's going to he's gonna tell you whatever he wants to tell you, whether you like it or not. So. Yeah, and that's what I want. I mean, you know, Walter's on this show all the time, and we sometimes talk about race, uh, you know, and I'm sure that makes you feel a little bit uncomfortable, Walter. Walter, well, right or wrong? Well, you know, I'm still learning stuff, like I say, so, you know. Yeah, you know, and that's and it's okay. I think all it makes us all feel uncomfortable. But we have to have the conversation, and we talk about lots of things, so I don't think it's fair for you guys to tell me what to talk about or try to shut me down when I when a particular conversation comes up and we decide to deal with that. You know, let us deal with it and then we can go on and have fun and make jokes and talk about stuff. But I'm going to tell you in particular in relation to Kevin Dixie, I have to tell you something. If you think you can come on here and we, we have fun with Kevin, right? So we've been joking around with him and talking about how he says barrel instead of barrel. <laughs> You know, and we've been teasing him that, you know, he drives donks and things like that. And Kevin is a good sport and he's playing along with us and laughing along with everyone else. And then on the flip side of that, you don't want him to have a conversation about how he feels the black community is being treated or minorities are being treated by, by uh, you know, in regards to the Second Amendment. I think you're a hypocrite if you if you're going to do that. You just want to talk about stuff when you're making fun of someone. But on the flip side of that, when people want to have a serious conversation about it and they make the sacrifice of letting you make fun of them and all that kind of stuff and they play along and they're a good sport. And then you decide, no, I don't want to talk about this now. Well, I think, you know, I I'm going to say it again. If you don't want to be here or if you want to dictate to me what we're going to talk about on this show, you are in the wrong place. We're going to talk about whatever the hell we want to. <laughs> So, um, and then my apologies to you, Brian, because you kind of like <laughs> jumped into this. It's like you came into the house and everyone in the family was having an argument. <laughs> hey, I've been there, done that. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, so we're going to move on from that and we're going to have fun. Um, I want to thank everyone that is joining us right now and is watching live. We appreciate you. Please click the thumbs ups, share this video. I do want to shout out the people that are, uh, let, me, let me see if I can just quickly, if you guys don't mind, go through this. I want to shout out all the folks that are always supporting us. Archangel is in here. Uh, Greg 98K, Foxtrot, Echo, Cody Phillips, um, E Rock, uh, uh, Armament and Axis, Chris B. It's up to him. Chris Bolas, uh, Rock Humper, Vanessa Kitty. Uh, Lola is in the chat, by the way. Joe Carpenter. Uh, Me Too on Tube. What's going on? Kentucky Firearms. Uh, Michael Bender. Screaming Skull Saloon, what's going on? Kentucky Firearms Network, B Channel. I think I, I think I just shouted that out. LV Louis Cipher, what's going on, guys? Um, Cody Phillips, I'm just trying to go through this real quick since I took up some of the time here. Tango Hunter, um, 
I see. I see. We have Warsaw Patriot in here, but I know he's had. It looks like Warsaw Patriot is having a whole other fight in the chat. By the way, Brian, <laughs> do you know there's a chat? Can you see the chat? <laughs> I can't see the chat. Oh, that, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Yeah, in that window that uh, in that link that I sent you, the YouTube link to share it with fans so they know you're the um you're on yes. with us. If you open that in another window and mute it and scroll down. You will you'll see at the bottom there's a live chat so you can join in there. You were you were in on that chat I think last night by the way. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. I got it now. Okay. Cool. So um, thanks for that. Uh, if listen, if I missed anyone in the chat, just uh, like shout me out right now, like say at Hank Strange or something like that, and um, you know, I will definitely like give you a shout out. How's that? Okay. Um, okay. So. I think I think we can somehow like try to move on here and move in. So you know what I want to what I want to start with. You guys obviously have a lot of videos on you. How many subscribers do you have on your channel, Brian? I'm about to hit 40,000, hopefully in the next oh, day or two. Cool. How how close are you to that, man? I think I'm like 300 away maybe the last time I checked. What? It, it seems like I've been um growing a lot, a lot quicker since that video went viral. Which which is awesome, man. So yeah. let's see. Yeah. Okay. So let's see. I'm trying to see what you're. Okay. Yeah. So you're like thirty nine thousand seven ten right now. Yeah. So I encourage folks watching this go subscribe to um, seven hundred four tactical and help him get to forty thousand. Are you having any kind of celebration or anything like that going on for? Uh, hitting forty thousand. I did a big thirty thousand giveaway, and I figured it'd take me a few more months to get to forty. But then that video, <laughs> went so I haven't planned anything. But I'm thinking I'll need to. Yeah. I can talk about yeah. So what was this? With the, yeah, I'm curious, like what you gave away for thirty, because now you're gonna have to up your your game. I, I know. <laughs> I I worked with a company called Heavy Armor Division, which is actually about five minutes away from where I work. They gave away some. Threaded Glock barrels, some grips, uh, Monstrum Tactical sent out some optics for me, and a few other little things like a Leatherman knife and stuff. So, okay, I cool. Need to step it up. Yeah, absolutely. Step it up. Get to forty. And folks out there, please help them get to forty. Right now, I'm going to shout out DC2 Mega Boost, uh, Gorillas and Guns. What's going on, Gorillas and Guns? I think I said LB Louis Cipher before, but I'll shout him out. Uh, Eli Jimenez, shout out to you. Um, uh, the Archangel says, at 704 Tactical, everyone needs to sub 704 Tactical channel. He has some great videos, so Thank Archangel's you, a fan. Hey, don't forget to throw Safety Harbor Farms a little love, you boneheads, all right? <laughs> <laughs> and the reason he's out of me. <laughs> yes, thank you. Thank you, you get, we get into that, Walter. I did that little plug in there, sorry. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm sure I'm sure you appreciate that, right? Yeah, I yes. do. That's cool. I do. He's yeah. He's been a great support to the channel. Um, he listened to me from the early days when I was a wee little guy. He still put up with me <laughs> calling him, saying, hey, you know, remember and, uh, the, only reason, the only reason I didn't get you on sooner because I was waiting on barrels. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, this, this 50 cal barrel thing is killing me, but I'm, I, I'm, we're getting through it again. But, but yeah, that's the only reason, really. I mean, and I, yeah, didn't know, just, I didn't know him from squat, so, you know, it's cool. That's good. It, That's good. I think, out. and it, yeah, it all worked out, which is awesome. Yeah. Um, Armament and Axes, Chris B, he says, Hank Strange, I've been watching his channel, uh, talking about 704 Tactical for a while now. I reach out to him to try to get him on the show. That is true. I think you heard from Chris B, right? I did. He was, he was, uh, he, I think he tagged me out on Instagram and a few other places. So I appreciate that. Yeah. Okay. Very cool. Yeah. <laughs> and, and there are people who are always trying to help us get people to come on. And telling us, hey, you should get this guy on. You should get this guy. So, um, you know, yeah. that's good. So the thing is, is that um, let's let's start with like, you know, I wanted to talk about the video. So let's talk about the video. Get all that out of the way, and then we'll go into other stuff. Um, how exactly did you? How long did you? You know, have to pester, harass. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if and there was any sexual <laughs> harassment involved in that. No, about me? I, Tell us, you know, you could do hashtag me too right now, Brian. Oh, I've already done that on my, on my Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I bugged Walter a, a, a while back and he was um, great. I mean, he, he sent it out as soon as he could. And man, I honestly, I never thought somebody would just send a little YouTuber like me a 50 BMG. So when I did, I knew I had to shoot some good stuff with it. So 
Yeah. I, from day one, I posted a video saying, you know, what do you want to see shot? And everybody kept saying right. a car, but I knew I had to do something just a, a little bit different. I knew I saw a few on there, but figured I'd give it a try myself. Yeah. And I don't know, this is like a little behind the scenes thing, but, you know, Walter, Safety Harbor sponsors my channel. And Walter and I, we talk about like, they, obviously, it's like a marketing thing, right? You know, we're all here in marketing, <laughs> trying to get things out there. And, and Walter and I talked about this a long time ago, and we thought, yeah, it would be cool. For, obviously, I do videos, you know, but it would be cool for other people to do things. And I tell people, hey, you know, Safety Harbor sponsors me. So, you know, and, and we had the discussion, like, you know, if people really want to get their hands on this. Now, the thing is, is people might start a YouTube channel just so they can get stuff. <laughs> yeah. So you have to kind of vet people. And we had that conversation. I told him, look, you know, if someone is it really wants to get something from you, it's up to you what you do. You know, you can lend them something, you can do whatever. But before you do anything, just go look at their channel. And it does not matter. They do not have to be a million subscribers. Oh. Mm -hmm. You know, they don't have to be 10,000 subscribers. What you have to look at is whether or not you like what they do. You know, are they making videos? Do you like what they do? Do you think, you know, um, that, that they're trying to do something because you never know. We all had to start at zero. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm not right now. I'm not a big channel right now. So, you know, from, from people giving me a chance, like trying to talk to them and give you know, giving me a chance and all that to, to try things out or test things and, and show things for them. You know, it, this is where, this is what grows out of it. So, yep. Yep. yeah, you know, I'm glad that Walter took a chance on you because I'm glad too. I'm glad yeah. too. It's worked out for both of you. And it just goes to show people out there that want to have channels. I think you look at your channel as like your resume. Mm -hmm. And when you yeah. make a video, think like if, if I'm going to go talk to someone, they're not, they're not going to be impressed just because I said that I have a YouTube channel. But, yeah. they, but they may not just automatically turn you away because you're not as big as whatever it is they think in their mind. You know, if you're not as big as Hickok or or you know iv88 or something like that you still got you still have a shot just do good work yeah, yeah my, I mean, my suggestion to anybody would be when i first started off i i would type up long long emails maybe to get a 30 dollar red dot to send to the channel because i was out of money that month and i would mm -hmm. i mean pad that and it, it turns out all i had to do was send the link to the channel and either right away they looked through my videos they either wanted it or they or, or they didn't like it and it was Simple as that. They can tell your dedication and if you truly care about what you're doing. Yeah, exactly. And you know, that's the thing. I mean, look, the proof of, the proof is in the in the pudding, right? So you're not even at 40,000, but you were able to make this video and it was able to it, it's a I'm telling you guys it's like 1.7 million views right now. That's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the proof that the size of your YouTube channel is not necessarily immediately relative to how big that video could be. And and the thing about it is what he did, other people have done already, you know, and, and, and not, nothing, there's nothing wrong with that. Oh, yeah. But it's not like the first time somebody shot a car, but sometimes it just takes that certain, you know, it's, it's, just all, it's all magic and witch, witchcraft and science. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. deliberation, um, you know. Um, and it was, it was what was very cool about it when I watched it. I was like, okay, shot it, it kept running. I'm like, really? Kept running? <laughs> And then when you hit it right through the emblem, I was like, holy crap, oh, that's, that was yeah. cool. <laughs> because, that, because the first round went into it like- got wedged into the- Yeah, it got wedged in there. And it did, I mean, first of it, all, what I like about your video, I don't know why, I, do you know why the video went viral, Brian? Um, Let's start there, honestly, do you know what happened? I posted the video hoping that my subs would appreciate it. And um, they, they did, it got pretty good traction, but it took about three weeks to get 10,000 views. And then one day, all of a sudden, I start getting subscribers and comments like crazy. And by the end of the day, it hit 40,000. Then the next day, it was 100,000. So then it just blew up. Can you track it back to did, did, did another YouTuber share it? Or can you track it back to any one particular event? Or I've looked organic? and looked and looked. And I can't find a single page. And before, you know, like big Facebook page or something, I've shared my stuff or big YouTubers and it's it kind of go to a certain country or it didn't go to, you know, I'm I, so far from what I'm seeing is mainly in the U S as, and then all it just, it just blew up. And then yeah. I couldn't, I, it was everywhere. Well, I, I think I'm sorry. Go ahead, Walter. I'm just going to tell a quick little story about my little video. I took at SEMA. I took this video of this Volkswagen 
sitting in SEMA that was really nice. It was a crappy video. I couldn't get far enough away to really see the whole thing, so it was close up. I posted it on, on, my, on my Facebook page. I go back and look one time, and it's had 14,000 views or something. What it is it? It's like down in Central America, South America, where lots of people have Volkswagens, just shared it amongst some friends. It was like, <laughs> yeah. boom, boom, boom. I was like, whoa. You know? <laughs> it was amazing. That's what, that's what I was going to say. And a quick shout out to Tyvin. Tyvin gave us 10 bucks. Oh, he says, go. Hank slash Lola brings the truth, justice, and liberty for all. <laughs> 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 um, okay. Thank you, Tyvin. We appreciate it. Um, and I can't help but think that Tyvin's just like giving me a little dig, but you know, that's my boy. <laughs> <laughs> Tyvin's a good guy. What I was going to say is I think it's it's organic, and I'll tell you why, Brian. Um, yeah. Walter told me about you. He told me that you did the video. He shared it with me for sure, right? Yeah. Um, and, I, and, and, I'm, and I know I did some sharing, but the funny thing is Walter told me in between the time Walter told me and I went to do sharing, other people were sharing with me. Oh, so, wow. the, so the thing is, I think that for some reason with your video, which, you know, th that's the thing about this. Is is it like a black art or is it a science? And it's it's hard to put your well, finger. In. You can never make a video go viral. And to me, this is officially viral. I think it just happened that there's something about this video that people were like, oh, this is cool. And they just kept sharing it with people. Yeah. Yeah. It, we were talking to um, American Gun Chick about that um, that one time, how they posted one up and it went like. The one we did, one of the ones we did with her, and it just went like yeah. it went nutty it for a while. It was like, wow. Yeah. He didn't really have an answer for it either. You know? so, yeah. 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 Go ahead, Brian. You were gonna say something. Oh no, I was just saying, yeah, it's I've the videos that I think are gonna go like I try really yeah. hard. I, I do everything I can. It's like two thousand views, and then it just yeah. sits there. But I was hoping, you know, all right, I'm shooting a car, maybe I'll get a hundred thousand views, like you know, hopefully. So it just beyond my wildest dreams on this one. <laughs> but yeah. it gets you, it gets you in front of that audience. Now you have that, those people said, oh man, I gotta check out the 704 guy, see what he's doing. So now you have to feed the beast, as I say. You yes. Gotta, how do you follow up with that? How, what's next? You know? A van, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, you know what, if, yeah, I think the funny thing is like, if you get a video, video and it goes viral, um, there's probably a couple of weird things that happen. And I noticed that this video hit a million and then just still kept going, you know? So the weird thing is like, now do you now, like, does that become your thing? Uh, you know, that you shoot things with a 50 cal and <laughs> see whether or not they keep running. It's going to be expensive. Yes, it will be expensive. Honestly, yeah. that's not my, that's not my thing. <laughs> I enjoy doing it. That's part of my thing. But my thing is I love doing uh, the high value quality products that your everyday man can afford and that's kind of um why i love the 50 bmg when you hear 50 bmg um you thinking like a ten thousand dollar eight thousand dollar gun but walter provides something that clearly works over and over again for a great price so i don't know it kind of fit into my mantra of the channel mm -hmm. yeah right yeah so i mean obviously it would be awesome like you know if every single video went viral, but yeah, that would be yeah, really cool. The thing yeah. I want to know is like, what happened with the next video after that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, what, yeah, your, your follow up one. That's the it, reality that people need to. No, no, no. I'm not talking about the follow up of that, but like you posted that video, right? Yeah. Because I think then, as a YouTuber, when we post videos, there's something. It's like playing the lottery almost. Yeah, something, it's like, come on. You, yeah, you're like, what if this is the one? Big <laughs> money, big money. You pull the slot machine thing. Da Ding. It is on. Yeah, the wheels are spinning around, and oh, didn't work. Yeah, let's try it again. Right, <laughs> exactly. So, what was like the next video you did after that? I'm thinking I did um like a best AR-15 for the money kind of video, um, and that's doing really well too. That's like at 30, 35,000 uh, views. So that one climbed right. way quicker than the other ones did. So you definitely saw a return on the next one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I mean, yeah. go ahead. No, I was thinking, thing, especially in the market now with the AR-15s, how they're so cheap. There's so many inex I won't say cheap. There's so many inexpensive AR-15s. If someone could afford to gather all those in one place, and just do a, you know, like a comparison thing, yeah. not necessarily a torture test because that would get awfully uh, torturous because <laughs> you'd have a whole pile of guns. But you know, just compare them looks wise, finish wise, da da da. You know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I've I've been doing a lot with the ARs over.
for the year uh, or two years that I've been doing the channel, and those always seem to be pretty popular. Well, I noticed you also finished. You've shot that white car a whole bunch. <laughs> I mean, you shot it with everything. You shot it with shotguns. You shot it with rifles and my gun and everything else. You just kept shooting and doing different things. Yeah. I did. I think I think you should. I think you should shoot at a fifty and see if it still keeps running. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot at my fifty? <laughs> uh, um, you know, yeah, 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 Walter. You can only get one for nothing, so uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I gotta, I gotta. Uh, that thing. might be a kajillion views, Brian. <laughs> if you splash it, if it you might splash be. It, what's what's the biggest YouTube video? I think the biggest YouTube video is like billions. Really? Oh wow! Like I think the biggest YouTube video this year was about four billion views. Wow! So. Yeah, you know, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, Brian. You know, shoot a, shoot a fifty with it. Like start. <laughs> no, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't tell you this idea because then someone's gonna actually do it. But <laughs> I know all the views. Yeah, I know. I'm not gonna do it. But <laughs> you should start start low. Like start with a twenty two and shoot it and see what happens. <laughs> yeah. And then work your way up. You know. Demolition ranch style. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Well, what did Demo Ranch do with that? Um, no, he was, what was he was shooting indoor, right? Yeah. Yeah, when he was working his way up, I think he had like uh, he what was it? He made his own body on trap. In oh, a bullet trap. Yeah. But. Yeah, and he was working his way up, but I don't think he got to fifty, did he? <laughs> no, he bailed. I think it was a bad idea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So there you go. Listen, you never know, but you know what? I'm happy for you. It's awesome. Thank you, yeah. sir. Yeah, I'm glad you were able to do that. You know Thanks, what I noticed. Go ahead. Trying to trying to figure out the next the next video though that's going to do it, aren't you, Hank? Who me? Yeah. Oh, you know what? I, at this point, how many videos do you guys have? Seven or four? Do you have, Brian? Um, I'm thinking I had about three hundred some, and oh, uh, heck. a while back I uh, had to purge a lot of them just because of all kinds of craziness. They really hit me on my slide fire stock videos and stuff like that. I mean, oh. left and right got the strikes and stuff, but. Mm -hmm. It's just been brutal the way they go after you. So there was a lot of the older ones that weren't getting any views, maybe like 30, 40 views, but were maybe a little bit controversial because where I was shooting. So I pulled down probably 50 of them. I wasn't going to lose my channel over a video with 50 views. Oh, um, wow. Okay. okay. Um, there's a reason why I was asking. And, um, you know, I think the reason, like for me, like I've got 800 or uh, close to 800 videos at this point. I don't know if we hit 800 because I know I did take some down for a similar reason. I just got rid of some videos, um, kind of like a purge kind of a thing. Um, I didn't. I did, never did a uh, slide fire or bump stock video, but there were just a bunch of videos in there that YouTube was just giving me a hard time, and I was like, you know what? Screw it. It's out. Yep. Yeah. Not so. Worth it. Yeah, but I think when you get to like 800 or like some people that have a you know thousand, two thousand. 3,000 videos, then you, you, you know, you stop worrying about or thinking all the time like, okay, is this video going to go viral? You just try to throw up as many videos as you can and, you know, I think a lot of times, it's actually better to have like a huge library than mm -hmm. to have a small library and then one video goes viral. Yeah. Because when, you, when you bring in that big audience, you know, like for you, I think it was good to have about 300 videos and then this huge aud audience came in. Yeah. You know, I think that's what translated to you for like that huge jump in subscribers, right? Yeah. Yeah. It was, I think I gained like 8,000 subscribers because of that video. Yeah. Wow. So that's why I always tell people like you don't necessarily, I've spoken to some people that they put up one or two videos and then put up a video that was kind of viral. And then the next thing you know, it's like the video is big, but it doesn't mean that like, you know, mm -hmm. everyone subscribed to their channel and then it's harder for them to build up things. So, um, you know, got to have that content. Yeah, absolutely. You have to have that content. Okay. Listen, I want to remind everyone to click the thumbs up and share this video and all that, but I'm going to have to do one more housekeeping thing. Oh. I try, you know, if you look at a lot of other, um, if you look at a lot of other channels that are doing this live thing, they don't kick people out of the channel or censor them and stuff like that. So we let a lot of people come in here and talk and carry on and do things with us or whatever. But I'm going to tell you right now, people don't want to be, you know, I, I just don't want to spend a lot of my time banning people <laughs> and doing that kind of thing. But people who want to be assholes, Lola, just block their asses, please. Okay. <laughs> That's my thing. I'm not even going to waste time talking about anyone. 
you, I'm that. pretty sure you know who I'm talking about. Just block those people's asses. Roger that. Call it the end of the day. Okay, let's go on. Someone wants to know about that $20 red dot video, Brian. <laughs> oh, that yeah, was, well, I don't know anything about that, so tell me about it. That was um, one of my very first videos that went kind of viral. Um, when I, I bought it on Amazon, I knew a while back uh, Primary Arms was doing the red only red dot, and it worked really well. And I saw one on Amazon that looked exactly the same, but for twenty bucks. And so I bought that, and uh, and it was a it was a primary arms, or it was from no, it was a no name, oh okay, no markings. It was a field sport. It had uh, no reviews. It was <laughs> at the bottom of the search list, and so uh, I just took it out, and I was like, man, I need to see if how durable this is. It would make a good video. And all I had in the back of my truck was a water bottle. Uh, like a bottle of water and so I was like, you know what? I'll smack this hit it with g-forces because they're all the time <laughs> Skipping <laughs> on and off and uh, so I okay. just I just beat the thing with a water bottle And then I was like, you know, I wonder if it's waterproof and I dunked it under water a cup of water and Man it it kept working. So from then on like it was a thing everybody's like smack all of your optics with a water bottle So that is my tr My trade, but, but you never planned that you didn't like say no, uh -uh. Okay. I didn't plan it I was just like I need to show these guys that it's not skipping on and off and that I can still hit my target and it's not losing zero. Like I got to prove to everybody because I like a lot of YouTubers that do reviews and things on optics and stuff, but I want to see how durable they are. And a lot of guys aren't doing that. So I was like, but I don't want to destroy it either. Like purposefully mm -hmm. just like smash it with a brick. So the water bottle was. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's real. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's kind of like a happy medium, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I've actually broken yeah. a ton of Amazon optics with a water bottle. You'd be surprised. Oh, really? Really? Okay, I was going to say, I, I don't know how much you've smacked up that 50 <laughs> from Safety Harbor with a water bottle. <laughs> Go for I want to know what kind of damage was done. Go for it. <laughs> it was. You'd be surprised. A lot of those reflex ones that they sell on Amazon that everybody's buying, one or two hits, they crumble. The glass breaks. They fold over. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of the ones with the cantilever mounts, the mounts break free, they walk loose. A lot of that's just uh, junk, but that's why I think the field sport did so so well because it, it didn't break. Yeah. So let me ask you this while we're on this subject, and we've got Walter here. See, there's Walter. Okay. But you don't have to worry. I, you're totally, you're in a safe zone. This is a safe <laughs> zone. You could tell us if you want to. When When Walter sent the 50 to you, did he put any kind of stipulations on it? No. I mean, he was, he is the easiest. I'm not just saying that because he's here. He was the easiest I'm so person easy. I'm known for to deal easy. with. <laughs> yeah, we know he's easy, but not. After all the girls. <laughs> we're talking about guns, him being. Yeah, he, yeah, we no, yeah. I mean, sometimes reviewers will be, or people send you stuff. They'll be like, oh, you need to do this, this, and this. And I tell them, no, huh? <laughs> that's not how it works. You know, we could come to a mutual agreement, but it's going to be a fair review. Walter was just like, Here's the gun. I said, you know, I'm not going to probably shoot it past 200 yards or do anything like that. He said, I said I'm just going to shoot junk with it. He was like, no, that's cool. And that's what that's what most people do. Yeah, I have news for you. Most people aren't shooting thousand yards and all this fancy gizmo stuff. They're just going out and shooting cars and refrigerators, and old cars that is, not running ones on yeah. the street. You know, yeah. and rocks and, and you know shooting junk and having fun. Yeah. 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 So, so okay, so the reason why I'm asking you that, because, you know, I'm trying to gauge here. Obviously, we, we you know, you came on air. We, have, we've we never spoken about anything. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've never spoken to you about anything. So you came on air here, and the reason why I'm having this conversation is I think, obviously, uh, Safety Harbor sponsors my channel, so, you know, I, I probably have, like, a, a dog in, the, in that hunt or whatever. Yeah. You know, so I want to know like what you what you think about the SHTF 50 like what kind of paces have you guys put it through? What do you think about it? You know, have you had any kind of issues with it, etc. So yeah, the, the that 50 when I first got it. I mean it ran right out of the box um, It's been running good now. I probably only put about 200 rounds through it, but that's a oh, lot. That's a yeah. lot man the average, the average, lot I, would say, I would probably say the average guy shoots at 10 or 15 rounds maybe in a year yeah, I've probably put about 200 rounds, and that's American Pawn and Gun, my local uh, gun shop. They just sponsor my ammo for certain mm -hmm. videos. They've given oh, okay. me all of the 50 BMG. And, and, and what's the name? What's the name of this place again? Just say it one more time. American Pawn and Gun. They're okay. in Monroe, North Carolina. Okay, American Pawn and Gun. So let's just make sure you know. Shout out to them. Thank you for helping out 704 because yeah. that's a, like a thousand dollars worth of. 
<laughs> so has most of that been is most of that been American Eagle? That's it exclusively. And what I was about to say is literally the only problem I've had is occasionally a shell is a little bit difficult to get out of the chamber with that overpressurized American Eagle. And I mentioned that in my review that um, I know you said in a lot of forums everywhere, even the sing every other single shot is like if you use overpressurized ammo, it's a little bit difficult. But you can see in a lot of the review, I try to show the extraction works great yeah. you know, eight times you know, out of ten. Yeah. One of the one of the things I think people when they get a fifty cal is they don't understand that it's not a thirty out six, or it's not. So when they go to operate it, they think, oh, you know, I just boop, you know come right out, you know. And you got sometimes you got to manhandle it to, to get things to get things going. So that's you know. Yeah, and then I think you said Walter always tries to tell me that there's like a sweet spot on that handle when you're jacking well, it. You got to get through that radius at the top. A lot of people right. will come up to the radius and stop, and then start yanking it backwards. And it's not open at that point, so you can yank it. You'll break the bolt handle off. What you do? Yeah, so. I think uh, I, I'm not trying to cut you guys off. I think there's folks that want to know where you are, like general location. Uh, are you in North Carolina? Yep, I'm. I'm in Char the Charlotte area of North Carolina. Okay, Charlotte area. I know we haven't hit some question, and people have been asking us questions. If you asked us a question that I didn't answer, just because of all the bullshit, like housekeeping stuff that I have to do, <clears throat> herding the cats, or you know whatever it is over here, people who want to get out of control. Um, just ask the question again and I'll try to get to it. Okay. If we haven't answered, um, we haven't answered anything there. So I think Brian, um, there's some questions about optics. I know we always get like, uh, optics a big with question. The 50. yeah. So what are you guys using? What have you used on the 50? That is the, the Redfield optics planet sent that out to me. I told Cal over at optics planet that I've got a new 50 BMG. I've got an EOTech on there in the meantime. And he suggested he looked through all of the optics and I said, I need something under 300 bucks for my viewers. And, uh, he said the Redfield, uh, Leopold makes it. So it's a good scope. Oh, it's yeah. held zero for the 200 rounds and it's like yeah. a $225 scope. Yeah, no, Cal, first of all, Cal's a good guy from Optics Planet, so shout out to Optics Planet. And what, um, um, what kind of... Go, go ahead. ahead. I'm sorry. No, I was going to say to you that, um, I was going to say that, you know, the Redfield, I have one of those. Now, I have it on a 308, and yeah, it's a pretty good... I have it on the, um, Walter, the RFB, the 24-inch okay. one. Okay. So, it's been, you know, I think it's a good optic, like you said, man. So, yeah, what, are you, what are you using for rings? Um... Ooh, <laughs> whatever I, whatever I had okay. in the box. Unfortunately, I couldn't tell you. It's probably un. Is it? Is it? Is it not? Is it like a Larue tactical, or it's not like something? No, 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 like, no, it's, no. Like, no. It's it's an Amazon ring. I'm, I'm, <laughs> it's Amazon tactical. <laughs> it's an Amazon tactical. <laughs> it's funny how well. Like I haven't touched it. I locked it down. Um, I cranked it down, and I I sighted it in for the review, the initial review. And I haven't touched it, and it's been dead on ever since. So. Yeah, because I don't know if you've ever seen it before, but like at times of 50 cals, the scopes will start moving in the rings, and they'll start digging into the to the body of the scope and right. leave yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Or so that's the thing. Have you has that move shifted? Is it shaky? How's it? No, no, it hasn't shifted. I've had more problems out of my Vepper 308 kicking scopes <laughs> around for some reason than I have this 50. Um, I think it's just a good solid setup. Um, I don't know what I did uh, to make it that great, but I grabbed those rings and threw that scope on. Got yeah. The, okay. Got um, the mojo going on it. The yeah. karma. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, and then just one last thing, and then I'm going to get to to some comments and stuff like that. For me, I don't know if Walter has anything else with with particularly with the 50. Um, like lubrication, cleaning wise, what's been going on there? I cleaned it after a hundred rounds. Um, really? Yeah. So you so like. You did a hundred and then you cleaned it. Yeah, I did a hundred okay. and then um, I cleaned it, and that was a detailed cleaning. Like I took it all apart, pulled the bolt mm -hmm. out, wiped everything down, did the barrel, the chamber, um, and in between that, I just hit it with ram oil every once in a while. Right. And there's then, really not, there's really not that much to get dirty. Yeah. Uh, besides, like I said, the chamber maybe a little bit in the bore itself, but you know, aside from that, there's no gases coming back. There shouldn't be any gases coming back to the to the rear so yeah it's not much to do oh yeah okay no, it's mm -hmm. pretty good so like when you got it um did you did you lube it up when you got it or you just were you just started shooting it as it came out of the box yeah i just 
I'm bad. I just started shooting. I dropped again, got my little thing of rem oil in the truck. I think I drove home that day. I grabbed an EOTech that was laying on the he table. He was so happy to get us. I got yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> I grabbed my box of sh 20 shells and dumped through that whole box in like a weekend. I mean, it was. Oh, is that the video where you guys had dummies and stuff like that? Uh, no, that anyway. was. Uh, that was that was one of the videos we used the fifty. We were killing the the T one thousand. Yes, yes, yes. I remember that. Like you, did you spray paint that thing? It was a uh, uh, the American <laughs> pawning gun again. Somebody <laughs> pawned two life size mannequins. <laughs> awesome. So you got the, you got those for a good price. <laughs> it was a uh, free ninety nine. So oh, free. <laughs> so they they took a loss. Yes, they, they, they paid a person money for that and then just for that mannequin. Oh, <laughs> they awesome. knew they were going to give it to me just to shoot. That's oh. cheap advertising. Come on. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. Did you have any other questions, Walter? Otherwise, I'm going to get to some questions that people have. No, that, that, let, the, let, the, let the chat ask questions. Go for it. Yeah. Um, OK, so Warsaw Patriot here, uh, he wants to know, OK, was that question? I think he wanted to know if you shot um, the 50 AK or what you think about the 50 AK. Have you had a chance to shoot that? No, I've seen a lot about that, but it's okay. it's one of those things. I, I nope. It's I think it's too far out of my grasp right now. Okay. Yeah, I think there's only been like a few. The guy who um, Brandon, I think he's he's put like a couple of rounds through it, but I don't think anyone else that I know of has have gotten their hands on it. And that thing is hell of expensive. You can buy, you could probably buy like, um, I don't know, Walter, what are those, what's that AK-50 oh, yeah. supposed to go for? Like was, 20, 25,000? No, no, I think somebody was, well, I think somebody was saying seven. 7,000? Yeah, I think mm. so. I don't, you know, there's a price point, no matter how cool it is, mm. you know, without any, you know, it, 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 it's not like an Accuracy International or something like that that's a, that's a sniping gun. Um, so there's a price point. You're only going to get so much, and past that thing, you're just—it's wishful thinking. You know, I mean, you can, yeah. get a, you can get a Barrett for on sale. You can get a Barrett for seven thousand dollars. Okay, so if you're going to try to get twenty or fifteen or whatever, you're going to have to. You got to beat that Barrett name, and it's a tough. It's a tough act to to do. So yeah, ask, ask somebody else who makes a semi-auto, and they'll tell you. Yeah. Um, nine oh four outdoors set a fifty with uh, no lube. Laugh out loud. Yeah, really, <laughs> <So>. <laughs> really. You know, you <laughs> uh, what, do you, what? What kind of is that? Is fifty the girlfriend's name, or is that? Um... <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. Is that what you're thinking? <laughs> you didn't get me with no lube. Know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. No, I mean, there's really not much. I Hank always gives me a hard time about my guns. I bring them out there, and they're all dry. So we. <laughs> We hose them down with some some ran CLP, but yeah. um, there's really not much to lube either besides just where the bolt runs back and forth and yep, and that's it. You know? Yeah. So how about the barrel? How's the barrel fare on there? Yeah. I, again, like I haven't taken it out and stretched it out for groups, but I did shoot it at 100 yards with that Federal ammo about halfway through, probably at about the 75 to 100 round mark, and it was shooting about two inches with that. Yeah. I mean, Federal oh. ammo. You yeah. know, you're gonna get. With that American Eagle, you might get you get lucky, maybe get an inch and a half group, or yeah. you might get lucky with a one inch group, but most of it's two to three inch. Yeah, okay. it's, it's, it's designed for this. It's not designed to be a, a target round. Yeah. So, um, and then let's, let's see. David Wright says, "Hey Hank, how do these fifty cows compare to the Barrett bolt action?" Oh, I, I'm guessing he wanted to say fifty cows, but for some reason, probably autocorrect. <laughs> fifty cows. <laughs> Put fifty cows compared to the Barrett bolt action rifles. So um, I've had customers tell me. Now this is just you know I'm a little biased, but I've had customers tell me they have Barrett bolt actions, they have mine, and mine shoot just as well or better yeah, than the Barrett. That's what I was gonna say. Um, I haven't put out the video yet, but when I did, I did something with Brownells a couple months ago, which I'm working, I'm working on the video, um, and I shot the bat, the Barrett, and it's like the same thing. It's the same thing as uh, the Safety Harbor. There's really not any kind of difference in it, so you know, you know, um, I would rather save some money on that one. Now, maybe yeah. if you're talking about like semi-auto, right? Well, I know. don't do a semi-auto, so yeah, you know, and that's that's a whole other realm too. So yeah, absolutely. So those two things aren't uh, comparable. 
Um, so 904 says he refers police officers to Optics Planet multiple times a day, and he tells them to use the 704 tactical code. Thank you, thank you. I think yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Thanks, 904. We appreciate that. You can also. Yeah. I have a code in in uh, the description of this video. <laughs> There's a code, but I encourage you to use the 704 tactical code as well. You know, we have codes it also going on yes. here. Secret codes. You know, yeah, like we got codes on codes on top of codes. Like secret organizations. Yeah, know. that's what we have to do nowadays to keep the uh, doors open. You yeah, know, we, yeah, you got to do. You got to. You got to be creative. Let's say that. So. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and I, that's, uh, that's cool though. I know. I have to be creative sometimes too to keep the doors open. <laughs> yeah, MLB Louis Cipher wants to know if anyone has a good source for an aftermarket metal guide rod for some comp subcompact SIG P two fifty in nine by nineteen. He had the cheap plastic one break on him last night. I would get in touch with Sig for that. Well, you could do that too, or places like Lone Wolf. They might have stuff like that. I don't know. You know. For the P two fifty, I'm not sure. I'm but you know, if you get in touch with Sig, they you know they might just send you one. Yeah, cry to them a good but you know. Yeah, you know, I think because they probably have some kind of. I know they discontinued that, right? Did Sig discontinue the P two fifty? I think sure. so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm if anyone run downstairs real quick, guys. Are oh, you hearing? Second. You hearing some noises? Yeah, my, my yeah, my wife stepped out and the baby's crying. I gotta go. Oh, okay, absolutely. Out. Go okay. ahead. Yeah, okay. we'll, we'll, we got. We'll that. hold the fort down. Thank yeah. you, guys. Yeah. So I think that um, I think they discontinued the P two fifty. So, but that doesn't mean that they don't have parts. They should have parts. Yeah. Yeah, they probably have parts. So what I would do is get in touch with Sig. And tell them that you broke that thing, and you never know; no, they might just like them, send tell you. Them, tell them it, it broke. broke. You it broke. Break yes. the thing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Good point, Walter. <laughs> Good point. You have to know how to have that conversation, but they'll probably be cool, and they'll yeah. just send you one. And then let us know if they do that. If they're if they're nasty or something to you, also let us know so we can put them on blast. I've I've been following the sig thing with um with the with the um. MPXs and the MCXs and people have problems and usually SIG takes care of it pretty quick. Normally. I think so. Lots of lots of companies do that. So, you know, give them a chance. Um, so I think Vanessa Kitty says Bolt Action 50 is banned in Connecticut. Why? Oh, no, it's not banned. I'm sorry. She said not. Oh, no, it's not. It's not. So she can buy one of those. Yeah. The only, the only place 50 is banned is in California. Yeah. And that's the cartridge case that's banned in California, not the projectile. So what they do is they have the 510 DTC, which is a hundred thousand shorter case and a different neck angle. Same mm -hmm. projectile, almost mm -hmm. identical part of charge, same thing. Yeah, Richard Hughes wants to know if I 3D print the parts to make a PS90 full auto and never install them, is that illegal? <laughs> <laughs> well, if you have the gun. No, and first, you have first the Walter, parts, first Walter, hold on, Walter. First of all. We are not the ATF or lawyers. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you. Yeah, go ahead. If you got the gun and you got the parts and something makes them come to see you, um, that could be like constructive. You had bad thoughts kind of thing. And yep. um, yeah, they could they could hold it over your head pretty good. So um, just keep that in mind. Yeah. That's all. Once again, I'm not the I'm not I'm not an ATF or or or. <clears throat> But I did stay at a Holiday Inn Resort last night. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Be careful with that kind of stuff. Uh, you yeah. know, I would try to. I would try to avoid it. Yeah, I get that kind um, of question about stun gun stuff all the time too. And it's like, first thing, I'm not the person you need to be talking to. But um, secondly, just always be mindful of your, of what your stuff you have and where you keep it and things like that. So yeah, um, LV Louis Cipher said the P250 is still in production, but in the P250C, which is a 22. Uh, um, and then Carolina, Carolina boy, the tank driver says, who do I need to talk to for the best ammo deal at American Pawn and Gun in Monroe, North Carolina? <laughs> Can you ask him, please? Is this, is yeah. this, is North, is Carolina boy, the tank driver from American Pawn and Gun? I don't know. But anyway, it's a good question. Go ahead. You can talk to Greg. He's the owner. He's, um, he's a great guy. He's always helping people out. Tell him I sent you over and he'll. Give, give you a good deal. Yeah, say I want the 704 tactical discount. <laughs> yeah, and then and then while you're at it, go. I also want the Hank Strange discount. Damn it! Yep. <laughs> and he's gonna be like, "Who the hell is that?" The Hank Strange. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, just but ask for the 704 tactical discount. There you go. 
Yeah, there you go. Oh, no, I've, I've, if you're looking for ammo and just in general, there's a couple good um, what the sites on the internet where you, they have, they list all the prices of the ammo at different places. That's what mm -hmm. I use when I'm looking to buy some, like American Eagle for testing. I test fire with American Eagle just to to see how bad it is. <laughs> no, mm -hmm. no, lately, um, it, for a while, my chamber and the guns were a lot a little bit tighter than they are now, and it was just it was just hard extracting sometimes. You know, you had to. You had to work it hard to get it out. Um, I changed that a little bit, and it helped a lot. Um, but the American Eagle is – Remember, people have to remember anything that Federal sells that says X, like XM33, X mm -hmm. means it's seconds. So if you look at the American Eagle cartridges, they're all dented and dinged and kind of uh, kind of fugly looking. Um, sometimes uh. they even have creases in the necks and stuff. If you look at, say, like PMC out of the box – PMC is all bright and shiny because it's not seconds. Oh, so anything that has an X on it is yeah. seconds? That's okay. whether it's twenty two, whether it's two twenty three or fifty cal, yeah. XM is seconds. They say it's commercial quality or commercial good, but not military. So Oh, okay. Um nine oh four outdoors says the Hank Strange discount only works at Big Daddy Guns. That's not true. That's not true. <laughs> it works at lots of different places. That's true. Okay, yeah. so there's lots of places where you can use that Hank Strange discount. And if I was you, I would go to any gun store anywhere in America and ask for the Hank Strange discount. There you uh, go. Now that Spread doesn't mean you're gonna get. You, that doesn't mean you're gonna get it, <laughs> but that would totally help me. Because <laughs> when they go, who the hell is Hank Strange? And Flip then they out Google your phone me. and show them. Yeah, or have them Google me because that all helps with the SEOs and stuff like that. So. You know, uh, we're not going to argue about that. Um, Enrique Q says, uh, looking for some ammo, where's the best place to buy? And then Tim Not Not Tim says, uh, Tim Not Tim says, the parts to make a machine gun are considered a machine gun. Um, I don't know if you think that's true or not, Walter. You need to have, so let's say you have a, a an AR an M16 trigger group, but you don't have an AR-15 or any other parts. It's not okay. Now, if you got that AR-15 and you got and you got a handful of, you know, I don't know. You know, it depends what they're there for when they show up. Mm -hmm. My friend, <laughs> a lot of people when they show up at people's places and find this stuff, they're there for other things too. So it's a it's a pile on when that yeah. happens. Yeah, yeah. But you can own all the AK full auto trigger parts you want as long as you don't have an AK to put it in. You know. Yeah. That's that's the way I, I understand it. Um, once again. If you got a house full of crack in the, you're gonna crack. If you're cooking meth in the basement, I guess it, it won't make any difference, really. So. Yeah, absolutely. Um, what do you What do you say to that, Brian? Or do you have like a an idea for the ammo question and answer for that? Most of the time, I'm addicted to slick guns. I guess they changed the gun dot deals now. I mm -hmm. search that site three or four times a day. Okay. Um, I'll tell you what. Between the um the federal uh, rebates on ammo now. Oh yeah, you can get, you know, getting two twenty three for um, like a thousand rounds for two forty nine after rebate, unheard of. Mm -hmm. I mean, <laughs> I've never seen it that cheap. Even when ammo was cheap, two twenty three was never that cheap. No, so, I think Aim Surplus had some steel for the. Uh, I don't. Sh I, I shoot a little bit of steel, but they had some wool for like three dollars and seventy five cents a box over wow. Black Friday. I mean, so, I couldn't pass it up. No. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Just, very cool. I just saw some stuff today. Some, uh, I think it was, I don't know if it was federal or Remington, this polymer coated nine millimeter. After rebate, it was like 14 cents a round. I almost pulled the trigger on a thousand. I just, I just, hmm? you know, it's hard not to. Okay. But I got to buy a thousand tail hook, a 500, uh, 100 tail hook instead. So. Yeah. I know. I know. Okay. So a couple of things. Um, please, like everyone, click the thumbs ups. Okay. We really need the thumbs ups. If you hate us, which, Probably, you know, there's, there's, some people out there. there's a couple people out there that hate us. You could you could click the thumbs downs if you want. I don't care. That's okay. awesome. But, Let's you know, we encourage happens. you to click the thumbs ups. Share this with family and friends. Let people know that we're having this conversation. We're here with 704 Tactical, um, you know, and we're I think I think we're having a good conversation. Yeah, I think um, so. Yeah. Someone said to Google me, Google Hankster or Google Hank Strange, see what happens. Uh, yeah, <laughs> let's do that. Let's see. Let's all Google Hank Strange at the same time and see if we break the internet. I doubt it. Okay, I'm going for it. <laughs> oh, you're Googling me? Okay, yeah. hold on. I'm going to do it. Everyone Google Hank Strange right now. Let's see what happens. Google Hank Strange. Tell me how many 
this is like that vanity thing that people do, you know. Everybody it's flush the toilet thing. at the same yeah, time. They Google themselves. <laughs> Yeah, Everybody think, in the whole country, go flush the toilet now. I got 1.5 million results in 0 0.45 seconds. I got 600, 765,000 results. There you go. And it comes 0. back. 0.42 seconds. 1.5. Yeah. So, that, so there you go. That's pretty cool. Okay. So now let's all, since we're here, we're all here Googling. Let's oh. have a Google party. Let's Google 704 Tactical. Yay. Everybody Google so this is a, this is really silly. <laughs> I got one point four one one million four hundred and seventy thousand results in zero point five four seconds. I got thirty seven thousand one hundred and point yeah. five one. But, really, but you know, other than the YouTube channel, the seven oh four tactical AR fifteen rifle kit video comes up. That's interesting. Hey the fifty cal to the hood of the car is right at the top, right in the front pick thing. So yeah. Oh on yours? Yeah. Oh, on mine, oh. for some reason, the oh. AR-15 rifle kit vid comes up. Well, I'm talking about on 704s. Oh. When, when he so put the gun, bar gun barrel yeah. right to the head of the... Yeah. Right in the should hood. We, let's, let's all Google... Should we Google Walter Keller or should we Google <laughs> Safety Harbor Firearms? You, you, I don't Safety care. Harbor Firearms. Let's okay. Google it right now. Oh, dear. Okay, let's do it. Safety okay. Harbor Firearms. That's a mouthful, though. Safety. I get 1.3 million stuff that uh, results that came up. Boom. I got yeah. well only that much. Oh, that's what I mean. I, I did. I yeah, but you're googling you on your own computer. Okay. Yeah, so, that's true. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Over here. Yeah. <laughs> hey, look at the one, one of the ones at the top. Those when you first came and talked to me the first time. Yeah, that's an old video. That's yeah. the, the weird thing about um, you and Peter. How Google and SEOs and all that kind of stuff works. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Way way back in 2014. Yeah. So, oh, you know what I, you know what I was going to ask you, Brian, before we, because I, I think we should move on and talk about some stuff other than fifties than me. <laughs> yeah, Walter, Walter, I, I, you probably did you bring one of the fifties over? We got to show people some gun porn. Okay. You know, we got we have a hundred and two people in here right now, but we don't have a hundred thumbs ups. So I want to encourage everyone to click the thumbs ups or down or whatever if you're mad at me and you hate me. Go ahead, click the thumbs downs as well. Hmm. So is this this is not like the one that uh, Brian has? Is it? No, this is basically the twelve inch barrel. This would be like an SBR. Wow. Yeah. With a with the three hundred eight. Um, okay. Yeah. Stock on it. Yeah. This is a little um, something we've been developing. Yeah. That's this cool. This is um, it's just small. You know, I mean, it's a fun gun. Obviously, you're not going to go out and try to do the thousand yard shot. Yeah. But um, no, you could. I mean, it makes a trip, but you might have Good to aim like, like an artillery piece. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, just make sure you always have your hearing protection on, no matter where you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, or you just make this thing. Guess what, Walter? You make the suppressed. whole damn thing integrally suppressed. Integrally suppressed. <laughs> now, yes. but we t we actually tested uh, barrel lengths and suppressors. <laughs> this is not a good barrel length. Probably to suppress. not. <laughs> no, the twenty nine was the best one. So. Yeah, yeah. The longer the barrel. The more powder burn you get, the, the better, better is it is. In this case, you really need a super long barrel. So, yeah, but, I'm just yeah. saying. <laughs> In right. a lot of cases, you need a super long barrel. Well, that's what she said. So, yeah. so the thing I wanted to ask, seven to four, did you ever, um, you know, did you ever, I think, where was this article? I'm trying to pull up. There was an article, I think it was on the truth, the truth about guns. I'm trying to find it right now. Where they were talking about how um, they were talking about The Walking Dead, right? Yeah. And on The Walking Dead, they had this shootout where I think the bad guys or something were chasing Rick, mm -hmm. and they had oh. a machine gun fifty. Yeah, <laughs> and they, and they didn't shot even right into the front of his car. Yeah, I just want to ask you this because you've actually tested it. Yes. Uh, are you calling bullshit or? I am. And I'm kind of <laughs> mad. I love Walking Dead. I have to unplug my brain when I sit down in front at Sunday nights, but I make it a whole thing. Me and the wife sit down. We watch The Walking Dead and she gets mad because I'm, I'm telling them like this is not possible. <laughs> this can't be real. I Carol, know this. I know this. I just, yeah, the car thing is what did it for me. After I shot that car and then I see them with that, yeah, the Browning 50 cal in the back <laughs> shooting the Jeep just over and over again. It just keeps going. Because yep, and it just keeps driving, and Rick doesn't care, you know. Yeah, I, it's it's crazy because if you look, I mean, obviously there's a bunch of videos, but if you look at Seven Hundred Four Tacticals video, like what did it take to kill that thing? Two shots? 
Two shots. And I honestly yeah. think if I had to tr try to drive it for more than 30 seconds after the first yeah, shot. It would have overheated and stopped yeah. anyway. So, yeah. 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 And I mean, come on, seriously. <laughs> yeah. If anything, I think you learned a couple of things from that video. One, I did. One, um, Walking Dead is bullshit when it comes to guns. And two, shoot the emblem, which is crazy. I don't know if that works in every case. <laughs> <laughs> that was pure luck. <laughs> yeah, that, that was too good. Yeah, I, I know. I was gonna say, were you aiming at that? Because you hit it dead smack on. You can see in the video. I'm like, and I hit it. I hit it, and then there, right in the end. <laughs> it's like, yeah, yeah. that was cool. Yeah, that's pretty badass. But it's amazing, man. When you when you see those things in TV shows, it's like this writer doesn't even like. If you're a writer and you're gonna do some research, at least Google some shit. Yeah, look hire up, me. Up. Walking Dead, hire me. I will be your advisor. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sure you would love that. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you would love that. But you see, you might not like it because then all the craziness that happens on there, we're going to blame it on you. Yeah, because they're not yeah. going to listen. Yeah. Mel Matrix said, just watch the video. Oh, so there you, you go. Um, Matt's 2500 HD said, Walking Dead is jumping the shark. <laughs> you know. Um, Maybe a little. But, yeah, and we started a Google party, by the way. Now everyone is Googling everyone, so that's awesome. Congratulations on that. Um, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, Legally Concealed Texas uh, TX says, Walking Dead uses sheet metal to armor cars, and well, none of the guns have sights. <laughs> you remember back, you know, I don't know, you guys, the A-Team, you ever watch the old A-Team shows? Mm -hmm. And they're hiding behind a fifty. They're hiding behind a fifty-five gallon drum as people are shooting at them like <laughs> any 14s. Yeah, then, yeah, 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 yeah. You don't want yeah. to do that. Yeah. No. And you might get away with it if it's full of oil or water, but aside from that, an empty drum? No, 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 no. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, we did a video right after that with that same car we kept shooting. Um, I wanted to see what a car could stop bullet-wise just from door through door. And really, the only thing that stopped was a 380. Everything else went through and through. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. All right, so you know what? I don't know. Uh, I don't know if we hit all the questions. So, like I said before, if there's questions and stuff like that, uh, hit me up with it again. Let's talk about some other stuff, man. Uh, what other things interest you, Brian, other than guns? Or is there anything? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Actually, um, my family. We're growing. I've got three children now. Um, oh, one cool. foster child. Thank you. Okay. So she's, uh, we got our foster child when she was seven and now she's uh, 12. So she's been cool. growing up with the family. Awesome. That takes a lot of time. And then we're pretty involved in um, church. So we're doing a lot of, especially this time of year, we're getting a live nativity scene ready, a big old production. But Oh, cool. Are you in this nativity scene? I, I am. Because you do I, look well, kind of weird, man. I, yeah, you have the Joseph. Jesus thing. <laughs> I, I am Joseph in the nativity oh, scene. Oh, you're Joseph? You're Joseph? Yeah. Okay, cool. Got the beer okay. going on, but yeah. We do got you the always camels. play Joseph? I do. They they suckered me into doing that in the cold. Uh, luckily, it's North Carolina. It's not too bad, but yeah, I'm sure. I bet you you wear some like uh, those heat things or. Yep, we get it all the whole nine yards. There's a guy at church always brings out all the propane heaters you could ever think of, and an old little old lady that passes out hot chocolate. And then the, <laughs> the pastor fusses because he said the wise men didn't have hot chocolate. But it's a good uh, thing. How do you know? How does he yeah, know that? You know what? They give that old lady to hand out some wine. Yeah. Oh, I was going to say, put some rum in the hot chocolate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Warm your soul. Yeah, that uh, works. Yeah. You know? yeah, you know, that works. That works. Yeah. No, that's fun. So you, like, how many days do you have to do the nativity scene? Do you do, I, like, It's just two nights. We. Uh, it's a big old production. I mean, we buy, like camels and donkeys and i mean we set it all up it's a huge big deal but we do it two nights i'm just curious where you guys get a camel from in north carolina <laughs> you'd be surprised at some of the <laughs> redneck farmers uh, that have <laughs> about their fields let me find out there's like a redneck farm if because uh, i live in farm country and and please if there's a dude in my neck of the woods that has a camel <laughs> let me know <laughs> Because <laughs> we will make a video. We will shoot off that the back of that camel. <laughs> oh, dear. If you get a camel excited, man, it'd be a hell of a ride. Uh, um, we'll, just, we'll just strap on. Yeah. Strap on. I'm not going there. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know what you're thinking, Walter. Shame yeah, on you. Yeah, shame, shame, shame. Yeah. yeah. Shame on you. Yeah. So that's cool. Uh, what? So, okay. So you're doing that thing. What are there? But are there other things that hold your interest? Um, or it's just... I'll, Basically, a lot you don't of, have the time. 
No, that's, I mean, family. And then I devote a ton of time to YouTube. It takes up so much time. Um, I'm not allowed to have any other hobbies. So family, and then I, I get to shoot. Um, and then I, I do like the knives and the, a little bit of, little bit of prepping. Not much of that though. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. yeah uh, I think we should all be doing a little bit of prepping. Just a touch. Yeah. 904 says we should shoot the SHTF in the back of a camel. So <laughs> I don't think the camel go for it, really. No, I don't think uh, the first we have to get a camel. Yeah, and then you got to climb up on the back of it. Yeah, but Walter is going to do that. If someone supplies oh. us with a camel, Walter yeah, will Walter climb up there. So yeah. I am the crash test dummy. Yeah, right? someone's got to film it, Walter. Someone's got to fall off the damn thing. Yeah, I have to film it. A million views. Yeah, Walter, come on now. <laughs> that would get a million views. Come on, we got to compete with Brian here. Yeah, this is the only way that I see. <laughs> hey, I know how we can do it. You can drive the car and I can shoot it. Oh, uh, yeah. D drive the car? I thought we were talking about camels here. Oh, yeah. forget about the camel. <laughs> yeah, what car are we driving? Uh, the one yeah. I shoot with the 50 cal. Huh? <laughs> oh, <laughs> drive the car. That drive you're... it while I shoot it. Oh. Oh, yeah, okay. oh, yeah, right. Yeah, okay. That might not go too well. <laughs> there is a lot of hate on that video, by the way. Just a lot of. Oh, hate. you know, really? The, the, uh, yeah, yeah the, just well, like you shot a, really a good car. Good somebody car. needs that car. Somebody, yeah. you know, I hate Chevys. I hate Chryslers. I hate it's everything. You know, I've seen that. Yeah. Oh, so people. Wow. Okay, I was I was thinking that there were people mad because of what car you shot. Because I know oh. I've gotten into that kind of trouble. We crushed. What was it? I crushed. Was you it shot a Mazda. Oh, Mazda, yeah, I crushed a Mazda. I was yeah. like, you know what, could, you, oh, you know how cool that, that would have been? That was not my choice to crush that Mazda, by the way. If that I was the vehicle that was there, ready to be crushed at the moment. We can drop that 440 you pulled out of that RV into that Mazda. That'd be badass then. Yeah, I know. I Listen, I do like monsters. I'm not, you know, I like cars, man. It was not my choice to crush that car. But I guarantee you, any car crushed or like any car you shoot, or someone's going to be mad. Like, how could you? Well, I, I've shot lawnmowers, running lawnmowers. That's what I started doing. Mm -hmm. If you look on, uh, I have a YouTube channel called Mower Death. <laughs> if you go to Mower Death and look at it, I shot, um, first one we did was uh, just a regular old run the mill Briggs and Stratton. It worked fine. At the time, I had three or four lawnmowers. I didn't need another one. <laughs> Somebody gave it to me. I fixed it actually. I put a new pull starter in it, and we took it out and shot it. Um, then I shot a a red snapper, a Toro. It was an old Toro, but it had the old style where you pull straight up on the pull starter. People complained, "Oh, how could you shoot that classic engine? How people people so many people need a lawnmower to cut their yard." <laughs> the poor people. My neighbor put that out by the street. <laughs> Next door. I mean, literally. I, have you I'm thought about all the starving people in Africa that could have used that lawnmower, Walter? <laughs> no, I did not. <laughs> <laughs> That's just evil of you. That's just. Oh, evil. yeah. And we shot a Honda. I had a Honda mower that I bought, and I used it till the self propelled part wouldn't work anymore. I tried to sell the Honda engine like on Craigslist. Nobody responded to my ad. So I said, you know what? We're shooting it. So we slaughtered that poor Honda. I cut the grass where we slaughtered it at first. It killed it. It cleaned its own spot out. Mm -hmm. Boom, 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 boom. So it started on fire. It dug People, its own grave. You made it. Oh, yeah. Every time we do that, we cut a nice spot with the mower. First, <laughs> and then... Oh, I see. That's why it's called mower death. And then, but, you, <laughs> well, but you do it like gangster style and make the mower. <laughs> that's, so, that's so crazy. Um, oh, I got oh, by the way, um, Kevin is in the chat, NLC Firearms channel. He's in the chat. Shout out to Kevin. Yo, Kevin. What's going on, Kevin? And and for everyone who's listening, watching, and all that kind of stuff, just to let you guys know, um, I did take a snippet out of last night's show, and it's on the channel right now. It's um, I just search. I think if you search Kevin Rent, you'll find it. Oh, but um, that. it's on the channel. So thanks to uh, Kevin for that nice little rant that he did, and he's on here. What were you gonna say? Oh me? Yeah, you were gonna say oh, something. Also, said. another thing we've done too is um, I got a lot of hate for shooting the Honda because people. You know, everybody. That's like you shoot a Chevy. They're gonna go. They're gonna cry about you shooting a Chevy. You know, whatever. Um, weed whackers. I used to. I, I had a job. I had. We were walking around surveying cable TV lines, and I'm a garbage picker. And I see this weed whacker in the garbage, and I pick it up and bring it home. And I made it work. But I had these. They were these really wimpy weed whackers that wouldn't do anything. So we shot them. Oh, what? It was a ton of fun too. <laughs> Fire and everything else going on and. But yeah, a lot of you know, people. Some people love it, and some people just criticize the hell out of you. So mm -hmm. yeah, it's it's all good. 
It you comes know, what, with the territory. Yeah. What was your biggest uh, focus point of hate? Oh, the fact that I ruined the car that could have went to a needy right. family. Right. And right. don't like, I don't know. I do. I do help needy families. That car was not helping any needy families. <laughs> yeah. Oh, by the way, NLC firearms channel, Kevin, he says he's at the range right now and he's trying to decide whether or not he should do the show's first live machine gun shoot. Lola, send him a link. Fire it hell's, up. Yeah, hell's yeah. We want to hear machine guns. Yeah. I want to see uh, some. I, I don't think we have to think about that too much. I want to see oh, some empties. I want yeah, to see some empties hit the, the camera. Think. If you guys want to see Kevin, if you guys, Lola, send him the link, please. If you guys want to see Kevin shoot machine guns live here on the air, thumbs ups right now. We've got like a lot of people, almost 100 people watching right now. We should get thumbs ups. I don't think we have 100 thumbs ups. Let's thumbs up this video as much as humanly possible. Uh, by the way, Brian, you can go thumbs up the video. Walter, you can thumbs up the video. Lola, everyone go thumbs up this video right now. I did it. Already. And let's let's convince, let's convince Kevin to go live a machine gun. I want to see the I want to see the boy. brass hit the brass hit in the lens of the camera. That's what I want to see. Yeah. Well, I'm not yeah, I'm not sure where he's going to put the camera, but uh, hells yeah, I think the people could use a nice good dose of gun porn or what we call here, Brian Gorn, we call it. Gorn. Gorn. <laughs> I don't know. Gorn. Bad words. Yeah. Um and uh, you know, and if we just the, we call the brass hitting the camera, that's a golden shower. <laughs> 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 yeah, we got lots of thumbs. Oh up. man, I just thought of, that's a t-shirt, dude. Yeah. Oh yeah. Let's tell. Oh, let's tell. Man, uh, that could be my first t-shirt. Yeah. Let's tell uh, Forge from Freedom. Golden. Sh this is the kind of golden showers we like. My kind of golden shower. Okay, someone, someone text that to uh, Forge from Freedom. <laughs> someone text. I don't know where Sam is right now. I don't know if he's watching. Okay, we're getting lots of thumbs up. So come on, come on, Kevin. bust it, bust it up. Yeah. Man. So we're gonna probably have to wait a couple minutes here and talk about yeah. some other stuff while Kevin is getting all set up to come on. So, um, and I, I'm curious what machine gun he has over there. We didn't even think to ask him. <laughs> uh, it don't matter. It's probably an HK. It don't matter. It's all good. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably an HK. All right. So I was gonna ask you, um, what what was the worst? Um, did you tell me what was the worst? point of complaint from everyone yeah ma mainly just that i was shooting a good working car and yeah oh it could have gone were to mad car, about the thumbnail yeah. that was the first time i've ever got so much hate oh, about when you put, you put it right on the hood <laughs> yeah i guess and that people, was a jerk move and somebody <laughs> was like, wait, wait, wait a sec that's probably what made the video go viral in the probably. first place <laughs> so somebody thought you would actually put the barrel end of the barrel on the hood and fire it I guess, but they were mad. I mean, mad. They're like, I'm reporting. That's irresponsible, YouTube. probably, right? Um, you're getting taken down for this awful, <laughs> deceiving thumbnail. They, I mean, there was hatred there. And did YouTube even give a crap? <laughs> no, they they actually remonetized that video. So, oh <laughs> yeah, you know what you should do, Brian? You should you should uh, muzzle every vehicle from now. On. Every every <laughs> every one. Oh, oh, am oh, I on here? Uh oh, there oh, you are. Am I on here? Yeah. Yep. Oh, All right. oh boy. We gonna make this quick. I'm gonna hijack the show with a damn machine gun. So let's let's make this quick. Go it, do it. Here you go, Drew. He's running there and running his baby. Uh, oh, this is coming right off the shelf. We're gonna do commentary here. What is it? M16. Front at me. Shit. You have to peep around. Make sure you can see it. Yeah, I don't think you can rotate it. Yeah, just have to point it just like that. Yep. And just get close to me. They want to see the brass hitting the camera. <laughs> <laughs> you got a M16. Yeah, what? And uh, what range are we in here? Because we need to shout out the range. All uh, right, give a shout out to the range at St. Louis West in Baldwin, Missouri. Okay, so shout out to the range at St. Louis West, West in Baldwin, Missouri. Missouri. St. Louis Baldwin, West, the range. Shout out to those guys. Thanks for uh, allowing Kevin to do this live on the air. What's the cap, Kevin? What's yeah, the cap? What kind of bur what kind of burls in there, Kevin? What kind of burl? <laughs> a hot one. <laughs> <laughs> uh probably over this way a little bit you guys like that angle is that a good angle yeah, very good that's Let's good hold it right there bust it ready uh-oh here we go there you go so there's the show first machine gun shoot top that 704 get out my spot man <laughs> <laughs> yeah kevin's mad because right. no one else can come on with a beard <laughs> yeah nobody else allowed to have a beard so yeah that was a that was a nice little m16er um so yeah if you um 
shout out to the rain st louis west you know so this is where i'm at when i'm not on the show and they're spreading the gun love doing gun things so yeah so now hey you've never had that happen before on the show now have you um, What's in his cherry? No, actually, no, absolutely not. So we've popped cherries here because this is Brian's first time doing live. 704, first time being live. So this is the first time live, I'm sure, even for the range, St. Louis West. Shout out to them. Yep. Thanks for allowing Kevin to do it. Lots of cherries getting popped up in here. It's like, I, got uh, five, I, got, I got five more rounds. Oh, okay. Yeah, don't, don't waste it. No round <laughs> left behind. That's another T-shirt right there. No round left behind. Okay. Uh, there you go. There we go. Uh, so is that burl hot? Is that burl hot? You know, this burl's probably a little warm. Not that many rounds. It probably ain't cinching hot, but you know, I'll take it home. No, I like my burls nice and warm. You like your burls? You like your burls warm? I like them warm, baby. Gotta yeah. have them. <laughs> that warm. Hello, sixteen inches are better. You know. I guess you know sometimes I like the ten inches. I, 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 I. Yeah. <laughs> awesome, Kevin. Thank you a lot. That, oh, say hi to Jake. Oh, hi. Up, Jake? Jake, was, um, Jake is our gun guru. This dude knows more about guns than anybody else in this store. So he's our he's our gun guru. So Jake, this is the Hank Strange Show, Who Moved My Freedom podcast. So like hundreds of people are watching your handsome face right now. Thousands. Okay. This is one of the dudes yeah. I come to an actual advice. Yeah. Don't good say team. hundreds, say millions. <laughs> millions. <laughs> Kajillions. There's kajillions <laughs> of people. Kajillions and kajillions of people. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> because he's going to go hundreds. Yeah, shout out to the Rain St. Louis West. Um, you know, thank you for allowing Kevin to do that. That was pretty yeah, cool. Yeah. <laughs> Back in. Yeah. All right, yeah. Kevin, you done bombing us? I am. Um, well, I don't know. I don't know. I got some guns around here. I don't know. Let me show. I got guns. Yeah, okay, show us some guns. Let's see if the range St. Louis West has some guns. Do they have any 50s? We've been talking 50s today. Uh, we, we have right there. Look at that guy. Okay. There's See that okay. okay. So that is done. We don't have a 50 rifle down here. Um, we do have a, nah, that's a full auto 9 mil. We got an M4 9 mil. Probably yeah. only exists. Thing. Other than that, we got about seven rounds down here you can rent. Yeah. By the way, Weston Probe says we have 101 thumbs ups and zero thumbs downs. That's good. So, That's I awesome. actually, I actually feel kind of sad that no one thumbs down us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. All right, guys. I'll yeah. get back to the show. <laughs> All, right. All right. Thanks a lot, Kevin. We appreciate it, man. See you, Kevin. No problem, guys. Peace. Yeah. So there we go. That that was cool. Nice little cameo yeah. from Kevin. We. What do you I think didn't even get that? to do that. Yeah, that was nice. Oh, you went Santa Claus while we were. Yeah, I had a, I had a, I had a request for my significant other. So. Oh, oh, really? That's what you guys are doing tonight, huh? You're playing Santa Claus. She's playing uh, Mrs. She Santa be, Claus. She can be my helper. Yeah. Oh, okay. Nice. Nice. You know, I, uh, I like it. <laughs> I was gonna say I feel sorry for the elves. <laughs> you can be my helper. Okay, so there you right. go. Gorillas and Guns says we have 106 now and one thumbs down. Thank you. I'm happy. Like, no, we don't, don't want us have, to be I don't, perfect. I don't see um, anything down. Um, Gorillas and Guns says he sees one. I so, don't see one, uh, but that, you know, I could be, I could be biased. You know yeah, you got to come back on sometime when when Kevin's actually here, Brian. He's a trip. Yeah, he seems like <laughs> yeah. a great guy. Yeah, so you never know what you're getting out of Kevin. You know, like today he might just be real happy and he's doing some things, and then all of a sudden someone might, you know, set him off, and he has some stuff to get off his chest. <laughs> just yeah. let it flow. I do that every once in a while too. If you... Yeah. Oh, that's true. Sometimes Walter uh, flips the script. Yeah. Just sometimes <laughs> it's something that would piss me off. But yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when, when Walter gets on fire, man, it's like. Oh dear! I just go yeah. okay. Walter's Walt for some reason. Walter is really frisky, uh, <laughs> but but usually, uh, you know, Peggy Killer Keller, you know, she keeps him keeps him in line. Yeah, she yeah, keeps yeah, him yeah. sedated. I think that's the way to put it. Sedated. sedated. sedated yeah. She keeps him well fed and you know, <laughs> and happy. Yeah. Let's just put it that way. To to be to be nice, to be polite, keeps him happy. So that's you know that's a good thing. All right, so let's go. So, did you have some new stuff, some current event stuff that you wanted to talk about, Brian? Anything? Um, my my biggest thing right now is I I feel like I know I 
touched in with you guys a little bit last night about the the current state of affairs with the gun community. But my my biggest thing right now is I feel like, man, we're kind of picking each other apart a little bit. And I would just love to see us kind of focus back on the main thing, which is just like no compromising on anything. And I just feel like, man, with all the stuff that's going on right now, it, it hurts my heart to see like the reevaluating the slide fire stocks. I don't care anything about slide fire stocks, but, mm -hmm. but what worries me is like, we're innovative, you know, people are innovative. And I think we're, they're just trying to stifle innovation with regulations that aren't going to do anything to protect anybody. And it hurts my heart to see them trying to kill innovations uh, in yeah. the gun world through these regulations. Absolutely. That's a really good point. I mean, it's not just for the slide fire. I think a lot of, a lot of people out there would say, yeah, I've got no, I, I personally, um, I, I have, I don't know if I should say that because the next thing I know people will be knocking my door down, but whatevs. I have slide fire stuff that I've never used. Yeah. And I've shot it. I just, it's not super functional to me, mm -hmm. but I think it has a right to exist. Yeah. And, and perhaps be made better or whatever it is, you know, uh, the thing is, even let's say we take that out of the equation, people think that they're just going to stop there. Of course they're not. Mm -mm. You know, it's, they, they want to change stuff. the definition of what's a machine gun, you know, and it keep expanding it. And the, and that's like the weird thing. I mean, I don't know if you're talking about the unity thing, like we should all try to get along, get it all. No, the I'm, more of that, like that. I'm, I'm more of the saying the unity of if it's if it's anything to restrict gun rights, we need to unify to stop it. Period. Yeah. We don't we don't we don't need to just I mean we can disagree slightly amongst ourselves, but if it's if it's stopping something from happening in the gun world, whether it be slide fire, as silly as it is, it we just have to crush it because you can't you can't give them anything. Nothing. No. Yeah, absolutely. Uh Mr. Trek Fan Dan said that was like a field report segment you should make. Uh, that a regular part of the show. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, we just have to get some people to volunteer to <laughs> do that. I just can't do it in my backyard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. I know. That's, that's I too mean, I yeah. can shoot in the shop in the bullet trap, but that's not that's not exciting. So. Yeah. Well, it is so, for some people. Yeah, it's so, not for me because I do it all the time. But Yeah, some people know. might like it. You know, oh, yes, I, I, I think that um, I agree with you on that. Now, what do you think about this whole thing with reciprocity and the fact that they mix this together with the Nix fix bill? Yeah, um, I, I think I think they should stand alone. I haven't been following it too much, but I really think that um, I just don't I just don't trust the other side. And I say other side as somebody who doesn't want me to have more gun rights. I'm not going to label a uh, Republican or Democrat or this, that or the other. But the other side to me is somebody who wants to take rights away from me. Now, if it was truly fixing the NICs by saying, oh, the Air Force has to report things or the Army has to report things, but that's not what they're, that's not what they're doing. They're, yeah. they're, they're going to change it to make it harder for you and me, your average Joe, somehow. Yeah, but, I, I, I agree with you on that. I think um, this is the problem that we have, man. Like they, the fact that they mix these two bills together, you know, you have to think about every single little single thing that's in there. Like, why would that have to be done? Just let it be separate bills and let it either go or not go. If you want to yeah. do the Nix fix yeah. first, go ahead. Try to run that. Let's see what happens with that nonsense. Why? You know, they, knew they weren't going to get full support for that, or they think that they are going to get support for that from Democrats. So they're like, oh, let's mix it because you can't. No, there's no way by the end, by the time that thing goes through the whole meat grinding process that it takes to become a bill, there's no way the Democrats are going to allow that to happen without um, putting poison pills in there. Yeah, how is a government agency going to make a mistake to generate a new government law that's going to correct the government agency's mistake. Yeah, like, and then the government agency is in charge of it and supposed to be finding the government's finding itself. Come on. What? Well, hang yeah. on, hang on. Were they were they trying to fix Nick's before this? I think no. Uh, no. A, a no there was no ago. there was no nixing fixing Nick's before <laughs> this whole thing started. So why are we doing it now? It's what is it? Good. How was Nix? Nix was working fine, I thought. You can't stop somebody from not entering information. That's human error. That's going to continue on unless you put a look. There's, put a all, shot collar on them or something. there's all kinds of stuff. By the way, the Tyvin Show says shout out to everyone in the chat. Shout out to the Tyvin Show. Um, you know, and and thanks for your support, Tyvin. Um, you know what's funny? People, there's so many weird things here, right? It would take us so long to unpack all the craziness and the things that exist out there. For example, I'm an FFL. Walter, you're an FFL. Um, so, yeah. 
I recently became an FFL. One of the things they told me is someone could come from Mexico and buy a rifle here. With the right paperwork, yes. Yeah, yeah. So and I'm not I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with that. It's not Mexico. They can come from anywhere. They can they if well, I don't know if it's anywhere, right. but from outside of America, you could come here and buy a rifle for hunting purposes or whatever. Right. You know, and it's fine. There's so 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 what are we saying? If someone does that now, at some point in the future, we're gonna go, oh, we gotta fix this thing and get rid of that. You're never gonna be able to do the thing to stop the person that wants to uh, create to to put destruction on other human beings. Adam. It's like the guy who came over here from wherever he came from and decided to rent um uh what was that, a Home Depot truck? Yeah, and mow down people in, in uh New York City. What are you gonna do? Make it illegal to rent a Home Depot truck? Some people wanted to have restrictions on that. <laughs> so where does it end? It does it doesn't end, man. Eventually no. you can't you can't move. Well, no. it, you, you you stay at home, that's not good enough. You can't you just can't even move. So and then eventually again, it's like ban your life. Which there's no mind. there's and and, and, and this will get people there's people, you know, you have personal responsibility. So you know, these people some of these people don't think that you have any personal responsibility. So everything's everything's somebody else's fault. And you know, you drove the Chevy into the crowd and killed people, the Chevy did it. You didn't do it. You know, um I, you yeah. know, I don't this next thing is a waste of time. I mean, it's uh, and and once again, I'll say, like I said before, why are we letting the Democrats dictate? Well, it's Republicans, too. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. The Democrats have no power. Look at the vote on conceal reciprocity. They got they got shellacked. Mm -hmm. So um, but they have no real power. So why are we giving them that power? Why are we acting like we have to answer to them? Yeah. I mean, I, I don't way, get it. I don't get it. I I, yeah. I know. Uh, I don't know. Chris Bullis says the Hank Strain discount works at the dump. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's good okay. stuff. At the dump. Sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's people, you know, You're some, welcome. One, You're welcome. One, one, one man's garbage is another man's treasure. So yeah, you know, I mean, absolutely. <laughs> You're welcome for that. You know, I I found some good stuff that, at the dump before. So yeah, yeah. it works at every single dump. <laughs> you know, you guess you guess somebody doesn't like their guns and they put them in the garbage, and next thing you know, it's at the dump. You know. Yeah. I think the thing is, is that um, no matter what happens, these people want to take away. They want to take away um, gun rights. And you're right. You're right, Walter. It's not just Democrats. It's also Republicans. Yeah, that's the problem. You get yeah. these wishy-washy. You know, oh, I gotta do something. We gotta do something. Well, why don't you just do nothing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> because mm -hmm. what you're gonna do is not gonna change anything. Yeah. You know, if you, if you want to change something, if you want to do something, educate people. Yeah, you know, absolutely. Um, um, Kevin is shouting us out. He said, uh, you know, he asked how we like that. You know, he says he hopes we enjoyed that, which we did. Thank you, Kevin. That was awesome. Upgrade your camera, Kevin. Damn it. it was no, too, it's the too, internet. Too it's the internet. He says oh. that's how you hijack a show. Ah. But it's the internet over there. Probably, you know, who hey, knows? Kevin, if you had some cleavage, you, you would have got a million hits, you know, but, you know, you don't know cleavage. <laughs> you know, no. So what kind of what kind of cleavage did Brian have? He got, he got over a million views. He didn't have. He had SHGF you know, 50 cleavage, boy. <laughs> oh, really? really? That was the booty on that SHGF 50. He had a big like? set there. He was using that. Uh, yeah, I didn't see. I looked at that video. Unless there's subliminal booty or boobage or whatever in that video. It was that I music heard. that was coming, the lead-in music. Yeah, yeah. Kind no, of actually, I like, the, I like the uh, open with the drone. What kind of drone do you have? That's a DJI Phantom 3, the standard. Oh, okay, I cool. love that drone. Oh, I got an idea for a video. Oh, yeah. What, that shoot a drone, drone with a 50? <laughs> if, somebody <laughs> somebody been me, if somebody gives me a drone, because I like that other one. Yeah. You got to get uh, it it's hovered. Already you been done. Have you heard of Dan Bilzerian? Dan Bilzerian shot down like six drones. Oh, uh, man. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was all about cleavage, probably. So, um, because he's always got the he's always got the girls with him when he's doing that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I don't watch Dan Bilzerian. I didn't think I didn't think you were talking about Dan Bilzerian cleavage. I mean, maybe no, the chin, no. maybe the chin, the cleft in the chin is about. No, all. I didn't see him. Yeah. He's not even in the screen when the. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sure, right, um, yeah. So what we're I, now, I don't know. We got so <laughs> off track just now. Uh, I have no clue. Damn you, Kevin Dixie. Damn you. <laughs> of where we are. Okay. So I think we were, um, let's see. So that was, uh, that was something you want to talk about last night. Um, 
I think it's a good point. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen with this whole thing. I think yeah. we have to be really, really careful. These guys are always trying to sneak stuff. Oh, in. oh, oh! The bad part about all that is they want to. The thing about the um, about the slide fire stock is the attorney generals of the states are going to write opinions about mm -hmm. how much those kind of things affect are used in crimes. Now, of course, you get a leftist attorney general. He's like, oh, they're all terrible. Everything's terrible, you know. Yeah. So you're never going to get. You're not going to get a. a a real assessment of what's really going on. How many people have used a slide fire in a crime? I'm listening. Aside from maybe one, that's not been proven yet. If you hear all the conspiracy theories, he didn't even use that. He used an AK. Well, we don't know what the hell happened in Vegas. I can right, tell you right, right. And, and, no one and knows. That, There's no official report even. And that just dropped out of the. I mean, everything. You don't hear anything about it. Yeah, no all. one's talking about Vegas at all. Um, so, by the way, um, Gorillas and Guns says, "Can we see Walter in those jeans shooting his SHTF 50?" <laughs> Laugh. I guess he wants to see the, the skinny booty. jeans. He wants to see the booty clap, Walter. He wants that like behind oh, booty like clap a of you shooting. <laughs> I could never trust me. My booty won't never do that. I, I did, well, I, I, I don't did, have one, so I did go. see one the other day of this girl, and she had like those yoga pants on or something, and she was laying down, and oh my god, it was like, yeah. Well, I'm like, I don't know if there's anyone here on the screen right now in this chat that's capable of doing that. <laughs> Brian, are you? No, no, I don't. Have, I got blessed in the booty arena. <laughs> I think I'll just uh, stick to shooting inanimate objects. Yeah, uh, exactly. Yeah, just expect. muzzle those cars, man. That's yep. all you have to do for yeah. your thumbnails. It doesn't matter. Just walk up. You got to keep that hood. <laughs> keep that front end. When you get rid of that car, just keep it someplace. And every time you do, when you just. Yep, that's it. On that same white. That same white hood. Yeah, yep. Cal L says Walter's booty was born to clap. <laughs> That is a meme photo that I want to see someone do. Like, uh, take a hot chick shooting a gun, shooting like a 50, and then put Walter's head looking back at you. <laughs> that, I, I don't have the time to do the Photoshop of that. Did you see I Photoshopped the um, I photoshopped the thumbnail for that video with Kevin? Did you see it? No, I haven't seen it. No, oh, okay. Go oh. look at my channel. Pull up my channel on a different window. Okay. Um, and then look at the latest video. Okay. Uh, I can't remember what the name of the video. It's my video. I can't remember what the name of the video is. Um, let's see. I'll tell you guys right now uh, what the name of the video is. You should see it on there. Let's see. Let's go in. Okay. So the video is called "Is the Two A Community Inclusive?" Oh, I saw. I saw that. Um... So look at the thumbnail for that video. Okay. Um, videos. Um, yeah, check out the thumbnail for that. You know what? Let me see if I could pull it up here on my phone so I could just show everyone. <laughs> that was a black Bart Simpson? <laughs> yeah, let me see. I think or I could pull Homer Simpson? Yeah, I think I could pull it up. Here we go. <laughs> this is the thumbnail for the video. <laughs> That's it. You know, Kevin's rant. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> there you go. I, I think, you know what, if I had more time, I would have got, put the beard in there, but I did not have the time to get the beard in. <laughs> but basically, I took Homer Simpson. <laughs> I think you got the point I, across. Yeah. Basically, you know, Homer Simpson, a lot of people don't know this. This is totally true. Oh, I promise you. Truth. Tell us the truth. This is, this is totally true. Like, about 40 years ago, Homer Simpson was in love with a black woman. Oh. And they had a baby. And they had a love baby. And and that love baby grew up and, and became became Kevin Dixie Simpson. <laughs> that's how that's how that one happened. <laughs> uh, man. That's how that's how we got that. No. I just I took a thing of Homer Simpson and made it, you know. Yeah. I should have put more. If you notice there's detail in there. There's detail in there. Let me show you. I don't know if you noticed this, but if you look close I'll have that's not a good closely if you look closely in there you'll see that it has kd uh on the hat on the hat yeah uh if you like so yesterday kevin had on a black t-shirt and he had on a black hat so i've got kd on there but i messed up with the beard man i should have done the beard i didn't i was uh, in a rush and i didn't do the beard i guess maybe in the future maybe in the future if i don't get in trouble from the simpsons people uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens with that. Yeah. 
All right, so let's see. So what other, Walter, did you have some new stuff you wanted to talk about? Oh, yeah, I was looking at stuff, and now you sidetracked me with that silliness. Oh. Oh. Uh, <laughs> my bad, my bad. Uh, um, I, looking at I was on the truth about guns looking at something. But um, I know, oh. unfortunately, it looks like there was another shooting in New Mexico. Yeah. Holy so. cow, look at this thing, man. You got to check this out. This would be crazy. I got to look at the video. They got a picture of a Dishka, which is like a Russian 50 caliber. Where is this on the firearm blog? On the, on the firearm blog, mounted on the back, it looks like a like a, a Honda 150 or something like that, motorcycle. <clears throat> or uh, like a okay. So let me see. Can you? I don't know. That's got to be see. hellacious to shoot. <laughs> oh, here it goes. He's gonna shoot it. He's, uh, uh, are you just gonna share it with the rest of us, or are you just gonna enjoy <laughs> this for yourself? <laughs> Is this MG34 and Zunda? No, no, in the motorcycle? No, no, that's... um. Yeah, that's I don't about. see what you're talking about. Okay, well, it's about the fourth article down on the front page of the Truth About Guns. Or the firearms blog, sorry. Oh, the firearms blog, okay. Firearms blog, I'm sorry. If I said something else, forgive me. Oh, Dishka heavy machine gun on yeah. a motorcycle? Okay. Back on motorcycle. That's crazy. Uh, but, hey, that's, that's the way that is over there. So... <laughs> and here, Franklin oh, Armory, funny. Franklin Armory binary trigger for BT APC nine. Yeah, now that's crazy cool. Mm -hmm. uh, well, that's crazy cool. You know, no, you don't like that. Uh, well, it's expensive. Yes. Here, here, here. Let me hear my thing here. Do you, you think how many BT nine people are going to put a binary trigger in their gun? Uh, well, the BT nine is what about? Is it two or three thousand uh, dollars? Probably close to a couple. Yeah. Couple thousand, yeah. yeah. By the way, if anyone's looking for one, I know Big Daddy Guns has that. They have that those kinds of guns, and they have actually a couple of B and T's in the store. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I know, but, I, but I they're not. I mean, you know, before anyone complains, these aren't cheap guns. No, they're not at all. So that's my thing is how many is high end gun? I guess they will. I mean, you know, some some high end gun guys are like that kind of stuff too. I just you know, maybe like putting a slide fire on. <laughs> Well, when you think about it, though, the price of the trigger now with an expensive gun like that, the, the trigger looks cheap. Yeah. yeah. You know, if you think about it. And, by the way, yes. I think I showed you guys this before, but I brought it in with me. So since we're talking about it, uh, are you into these binary triggers? I, I love them. That's what kind of worries me about the whole slide fire thing. Have you seen this one? Is that for the HK? Yes, sir. Oh, I'm jealous. Yeah. <laughs> So here we go. We got an HK one. So um, I've got like an HK clone. Walter's got some stuff. Yeah. I've got my other friend Jesse James has some stuff. Um, so we not not like the Jesse James that that uh, makes motorcycles. Like his name, my friend's name is actually Jesse James. Oh. So we got we have to do a video of um, we got to do a video of this at some point. Yeah. yeah. You know. So I know you're Jones and for me to get my new uh, yeah. MP5 stock done. So. Yeah, I can't wait to test that out. But you know, it's um, it's not for the faint of heart in lots oh. of ways. You know, to buy it, it's going to cost a little bit of money, and uh, <laughs> that, that trigger's not cheap. Yeah, the gun's not cheap. Yeah. Um, so, you know, you know, it's definitely a a, a a higher end toy. But the binary triggers aren't cheap for the most part. You know, yeah. they're they're as much as some ARs are now. So. Yeah, Kevin is in the background yeah. going HK, HK, HK. And we yeah. tested these binary triggers. I don't think that they're not, a, it's not a bad deal. Um, we, we did some oh. tests, and that video is coming out this weekend, actually. Oh, okay, cool. It's right now on Patreon. It's just, you know, just for our page. Do you have a Patreon page, Brian? Um, no, I haven't. I need to do something to generate something. But <laughs> okay. <laughs> you haven't figured it out yet, what you're planning on doing? No, I was, honestly, I'm... I'm hoping to build up that subscriber base and then maybe find some companies, not necessarily to sponsor me reviewing their items, but just to put like, a, I don't know, maybe a body armor ad at the end of my videos or something. Something I'm not reviewing, but I don't know how that stuff works. Yeah. I need to figure out something to do. With yeah, I no think money. ultimately you have to figure out what works for you, but you know, you have a good channel. You know, I'd like to see it keep going. So, you know, there's nothing wrong with uh, reaching auto, out there. Auto body shop. Support. You need to go to auto to fix holes in cars. <laughs> That's what. <I> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like you know what you should do. Like, do you want custom holes in your cars? <laughs> if you, if you have you have dents and dings in your car. <laughs> For we a know. small fee, I'll put it out of its misery. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We know how to make that debt look sexy. 
donate your car to 704 yeah. Tactical because they need the car. <laughs> they yeah. have to shoot something. Come on. Yeah. Man. Yeah, absolutely. So let's show let's show the people some stuff here. Um, I know you've got some things, Walter. Brian, did you have anything you wanted to share with the people? Some stuff you want to show off? Some future yeah, projects actually, maybe? This is one of my favorite projects I'm working on right now. It's my uh, – my AR9. It's a oh, all right. I had a little one. Yeah. Nice little yeah, shorty. PSA four inch upper. Um, with, uh, oh, I gotta have to give you. So some there's no. Is there little. a muzzle device in there? There is. There's a KAK Ooh. flash can. So okay, the yeah. Hold that up a little bit. Let's see the front of it. Let's see the front. You can muzzle us. A cat can. Oh, nice. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. They did you buy that during the Black Friday times, or you get it before? Bef these were like uh, right before Black Friday. This guy was like two twenty five for the complete dirty. upper. Dirt what? cheap. Oh, yeah, man. I wish I knew. They that. lasted like an hour, and then they were. Yeah, they didn't last very long. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, so is that um? So what features do you have on that? Is it side charging? What you got? No, it's just no, the it's standard. Not. It's yeah. a standard upper right here from right. PSA, and then I've got the blade. The, um, and then the main thing is I'm thinking about putting a binary trigger in this guy. I've got one in my SVR right now that I might move over to the pistol, but mm -hmm. we'll see how that goes. So what, do you have any preferences with the, with the triggers? With the bi I know they're not all binary because they've got like trade names, you know? Yeah, um, I'm, I'm, I've only shot the BFS-3, and it works great. Like It's worked great in every platform as long as you're using the right spring and buffer and you kind of understand the mechanics of what's going on. It's been working great for me. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So here we go. Mark Wagner. Let me just read this comment real quick from Mark Wagner. He says, uh, I guess him and Armament and Axis Crispy, they're talking, says on the page, uh, Franklin was running a poll to get input on what platforms they should be working on and 1022 was on the list. So yeah. I guess, you know, that's a good question. Like, what what guns do you think Franklin Armory, I know they told me that, that they have something on their page talking about, uh, you know, like, what guns would folks out there like to see them go on, go to next? What do you what do you guys think? Well, I think the 1022 would be great, especially yeah. with the, the 1022 pistols, the the chargers, yeah. With, yeah. with the uh, braces now that are coming out. I know SB Tactical just released that micro brace. I think you right. even posted something on your Facebook page. Yes, I did. Yeah. Yeah. We, yeah. yeah. That's something that we should talk about here. The micro braces so, out. And then there's the tail hooks, of course. Yeah, the tail hooks. What, what, did, have you seen this? I've seen the tail hooks, and I, I really like the concept. I just – I'm such a – I don't know, a rule follower. I love the fact that... So show, put your works. arm in there, Walter, and show how that actually is supposed to work. See? That actually, actually, you know what? It's for, not bad. No, no. For the, the tail hook does it... If you've got a big forearm, there's no way you're going to... With that SP stuff... Sorry, it's not designed to... But anyways. Um, yeah. <laughs> we, we all know the truth, okay? The yes. truth is... Um, un, it's being used like this. So... But yes, uh, the tail hook I like it because it's metal. Um, I yeah. Like it because it's, it's small, um, it's not all you know. And and yeah, I get it. I get you know guys want it to look like a stock because they're using it like a stock. <laughs> yeah. So I mean you know I understand the whole premise. So but anyways. Yeah. Um, we won't go into all that. But this is my stock that we're making for the um, the scorpion. So you've got one here on your scorpion. Yes, actually yeah. yes. And, and uh, CZ is weird, man. Their colors are weird. So this is supposed to be flat dark earth or gray? Flat dark earth. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, their colors. It's, not, it's not bad. I mean. Yeah. Their gray looks like flat dark earth. That's what I'm asking. I posted a yeah. picture. Um, Big Daddy Guns has the. Uh, I've never seen the, a gray one. Well, Big Daddy Guns has the CZ Shadow 2. Oh, yeah, yeah. I saw CZ that. 75. <laughs> yeah, they have the CZ 75. Uh, the shadow and the second version of it and it's technically gray but i took pictures of it and i looked at it with my own eyes right and it looked like flat dark earth but i like that that's a that's a sharp looking gun that that cz pistol but yeah. i like this i like to see 75 anyways so i'm kind of mm -hmm. prejudiced on yeah that. yeah they're very difficult to get so you know yeah. um but I'm, if, you, I'm, if anyone out there is looking for one big daddy they had two One's gone. There's only one left there that I know of. That could be gone for all I know right now. Yeah, I, I, I like CZ. CZ makes good stuff. It's all, it's all mm, I call like military grade stuff. It's not. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know if there's actual military version of of the Scorpion. 
There's full auto versions, um, I'm quite sure. But um, yeah, I'm I'm trying to think if there's any military groups that use them. There 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 has to be. Yeah, somewhere in the, the world. The Bren, the 805 Bren, is what the C, the Czech military uses for a rifle, I believe. So yeah, um, we're gonna do a stock for one of those too. So stay tuned. Yeah. So, um, Did you have some other stuff there, Brian? Um. No, I've got a few other little things I'm working on right now, but just not quite finished. I did finally finish up my three-gun rifle. I, again, PSA had a smoking deal on their <laughs> scratch and dent section. I got one of those, um, what was it, the Adams Arms Core three-gun rifles. I mean, decked out to the hilts with the hyperfire trigger and stuff. It was right. five ninety nine. dollars with a with a, the hyperfire trigger itself is worth a couple hundred. Yeah, bucks. I know it was. Uh, it you was could pop that trigger out and sell that bad boy I, by itself and make your money back. I felt like bad if I didn't buy it. It was. Yeah. I sign up for those email alerts and I'm yeah, yeah. make me go oh, yeah. broke. Yeah, I have a I have a um a Palmetto State nine millimeter I bought also, and the deal was so good. Yeah, you know, I bought the upper and lower separate and put the two together. Yeah, and um, I couldn't pass it up. I did. You know, I didn't get the cat cam one. I got one a little bit longer barrel, but yeah, um, I think um, we're gonna. I think we're gonna put a fun switch in that one. So that would yeah. be awesome. I'd love to yeah. see that. Yeah, yeah. Um, Merc Maniac wants yeah. to know when the SHTF fifty tail hook is coming out. Actually, Hank has already shot that. Remember that? Yeah, your, I have. Your, yep. Yeah, yeah. Um, there's wow. a preview of that on um, okay. Guns and Gear yeah. at the end of Guns and Gear's video where he I'm showing him Keltax. Oh, you have one. Well, if you if you oh. take this. If you take my uh, cast stock off the back here and you throw um, a buffer tube on it, basically, and put the put the tail hook, you got what you're asking for. So, mm -hmm. And then it's a pistol. It's not an SBR. So mm -hmm. um, we've already done it. It works. Once again, it gets you that stuff you want if you've got both your working arms um, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> without, without doing a tax stamp. And um, it works. Yeah. yeah. Now here's something I think you should keep working on. So check this out. Oh, plastic. I, I yeah. Yeah. I don't know if you guys, if this looks familiar to anyone, I'll just lock it on me for here for a second. So this is a um, this is an upper and lower from. Well, actually, this is the lower from Kaiser US. So that's what we've got going on here. It is an SBR, by the way. So this is a. You can see it's not even finished. This is a polymer KES right here, baby. Yes. Yes. Polymer KES. I wish that you would do a few more of these. Yeah, with, with the, aluminum rail. With aluminum rods. Yeah, I've got to talk to Rod, some people yeah. about getting some injection molding done. So. And it has a um, that I believe is the Echo, the, the original Echo triggers in there. Yeah, this is the first gen. For anyone who wants to know, we did a video on this where we uh, shot it as a twenty-two. Yeah, we set it up. So in the yeah, I'd like to see you guys do this because for people who don't really need it to like bash zombies in the head or right, anything, right, 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 right. You know, uh, it would be like a lightweight option. Right. A great or, camp or, gun. Or, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, like a like a cool little camp gun. So. Or you're you trying to build a, you're trying to build a real lightweight twenty two or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I think this is something you should keep. You know. I got to pursue the do. the injection molding part. So. Yeah. I know that's expensive. That's yeah. the thing about, um, yeah. you know, like it's a big investment to decide to jump into it. So I think what you're what you're always thinking about that is like, you know, is it going to be worth the investment? Are people really going to buy enough of it? It will be because I can sell out with regular rods installed too, and and, mm -hmm. and just at lower cost. So yeah, and you can do so. The polymer rods you're saying are going to be more expensive, or like carbon fiber rods or something. No, no. Then I, you could save. You can have even more weight savings, right? Yeah, I didn't do the carbon fiber because it it's just too iffy as far as machining it, and it, it gets does weird stuff. But um, aluminum's cheap, and it's it's easy to machine, and it's lightweight too. It's really not much difference yeah. between the two. So, no, I was thinking you could use that. You can use the polymer stocks with a regular AR. It would just I'd be able to sell it at a lower cost versus the machined aluminum. So, mm -hmm. um, save some save some uh, save some money on the on the consumer's end of the deal. So, yeah. I think you should, you know, consider that. You guys out there, let us know what you think about that. Would you like to see a polymer KES? You know, this is a prototype that belongs to me. Walter is never getting this back. Nope. I, I, <laughs> yeah. So I don't. I don't. I don't. I'm not an. I'm, I don't want to. No, is this a bad term? Indian giver. I'm not a. <laughs> don't I'm start not. now. Don't start with my peoples. No. Oh, no, I'm not talking about the kind in India. I'm talking about the. 
Oh, well, you know, I'm the red dot, not feather. So you're referring to the feather? Is that what you're saying? Because then that would, yeah. that would be okay. No, that's... Yeah. Well, anyways, you know, you. I, I don't, if I give you something, I'm not going to turn around and say, hey, man, I made a mistake. I give it back, you know. Uh, you're not getting it back, so... There's... Well, I don't expect it back. <laughs> well, well, cause, but you're not getting it back. Well, I don't expect it back. <laughs> it's not going back. <laughs> I know it. Well, <laughs> it's never going back. I'm Walter. not expecting it back. <laughs> and then here's another thing I wanted to show. I, I'm sure you've got some other stuff, Walter, but this is a PWS Ooh. piston oh, nice. number that I got from my brother Anonymous. I, I did some horse trading with him. So this needs to go. I need to do a project. I'm not even sure. Like, well, he had this thing, and I was like, yeah, I think I want that. I'll take it. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, nice. um, I traded with him, and um, no. yeah, we're gonna do we're gonna do something with it. You know, see, it's got like the uh, adjustment right there. Oh yeah, like yeah, it's yeah, piston yeah, yeah. driven. So this would be cool to you know put a little suppressor. I've got, not, I got a uh, secret project I'm working on for your brother. So you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You and my brother have some kind of like secret projects that you're doing. It's a black project. Yeah. Is, that, is that a good term? Too? You, I don't know. you starting again? No. <laughs> Black and, Ops, Black Ops, Black yeah, Ops. Black Ops, Black Ops. Did you have something that you wanted to show? Me? Yeah, did you have some other stuff you wanted to show? Uh, or, 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 okay, Brian looks like he well, had some stuff. No? Well, I was thinking about uh, grabbing something else for you. Oh, go absolutely. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. I can talk for a second. Yeah. I did bring something else home. You know, we're doing the uh, tail hook adapters for all of our stocks that we can. Um, this I, We have it for the SIG Kest stocks also, if you want to put tail hook on it. Um, and we are going to be making an adapter and brand new rods for the SB Tacticals, the SIG SB Tactical stock. So if you don't like that plastic really? rubber thing on the yeah. backside, okay. you can install our rods and our adapter and use the SIG base, and you're going to get a tail hook. So really, okay. So that's, that's going to be a more affordable option. For well, people? well, you, what you'd be buying from me is the adapter and the rods. Uh huh. And then you'll have to either buy the tail hook from me or somebody else. You might even already have one. It's just okay. you can convert that that SB the Sig SB brace into a uh, a tail hook or even a uh, we'll probably actually do it where you can actually convert it into compact entry stock too with our type with a S, S, SBR type stock on the back. So this yeah. is coming here. I'm waiting on the rods to be delivered. We're getting them ground to the to correct size, and then we'll machine them out and they'll be ready to sell. So. Oh, cool! Did you? Um, I can't remember if you said when you're getting those. Um, tail hook. Did you say? say I just sent the, pay, the purchase order off today, so. Because um, I know they're always sold out, so there's probably people looking. So when you get them he, in, they're in. He, I mean, he's, no. he's yeah, he's busy. So um, but I talked to him on the phone, and um, he was caught up on Thanksgiving. Actually, got a new batch in. Or okay, a, so the Archangel, by the way, oh, did we lose Brian? Because I was going to say the Archangel wants to know if we've seen Brian's High Point C9 yet. So I, I hope Brian went to get that. <laughs> that would be cool. So while we're waiting, while we're waiting on Brian, oh, he's Walter, got a cool one. He's got a cool yeah. one. It's all yeah, he's got a cool one. I want to show you this. So I went to an art show. I went to. Uh, let me ask him, Brian. Do you have that C9? Yeah, yeah. I saw the comments. So oh, I cool. I, grabbed it i machined oh, yeah. slide myself holy on crap <laughs> so did that did that affect it did that affect that up. did that affect the operation any of it by taking That's that not. weight off it it didn't i added a rail on the top so what That's i right. did was i i removed the rear sight um then i drilled and tapped this upper and machined the flat on here and cut off that top rail right, um right, right. And you this, you did this work yourself or yeah yeah I, I'm a mechanical engineer by trade dude you got skills that looks that makes a high point look way better well that's kind of what I wanted to do Hank with the one I've got something like that uh, well I think you need to I think you need well, to work out something with Brian <laughs> well yeah so I, check out here's Walters go yeah, ahead just, show it. just plain old this is a 45 actually so yeah you know. and I was gonna probably do the same thing I wanted to um, I like that rail you put on top. Uh, yeah, yep. show us that again. Show us that again, because we're going to need to look at this a couple. Times. I, I I actually took off the rail here recently, but I had a rail in right in here in the flat, and I drilled and tapped the receiver. But I uh, used six thirty two screws, and they started walking loose because of that oh. violent blowback action. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to maybe switch them to eight thirty two and Loctite them in there, and put some of that. Get some of the the um, the, uh, the Loctite That's green the, adhesive. Hold that up a little bit higher. Brian, just a, yeah, a, okay, right there. Now move to the. I don't know if it's the left. No, like 
Yeah, there you go, right there. Because I think it says it says seven hundred four tactical. Yes, I I actually did the engraving on a yeah. CNC <laughs> machine. Oh, cool! <laughs> and cool. it looks like you did a trigger. Did you? What did you do to the trigger? I, I did a lot of polishing out of everything. So I sandblasted the internals, polished up the feed ramps, polished the safety. I just took it all apart and kind of practiced in my gunsmithing skills on something like this. That's seriously badass. I like that. So, so it still my, runs good. Yeah. My son, is, my son keeps telling me we need to make an open bolt pistol. So um, <laughs> make it like full go. auto. I don't know how yeah. long it lasts. Though. Yeah. So how does that perform now? Is it better? Uh, it, it's about the same. Uh, I know when I bought this from the pawn shop, it didn't work. <laughs> and uh, I bought it. I think I spent like 70 bucks on it. And I called High Point and said, hey, it doesn't work. And they actually sent me all new internals. And that's what started this project. Oh, cool. Oh, sweet. OK, awesome. What was the other gun you were going to show us? Um, So I'm actually got this uh, micro Roni I've been what playing with. <laughs> what? Oh, micro Roni, yeah. Macaroni. I had some That's macaroni tonight. <laughs> it's not a tender roni. It's a micro roni. Or macaroni. Micro it's not a microwave. It's a micro roni. No, that looks good. I'm actually in the process of trying to find an optic for this guy and seeing how accurate it really is with the chassis independent of the gun. I don't know. Okay. We'll see. Might be a video. Okay. So those are those are coming up in videos. Um, or, or I'm assuming the high points already been in the video. Yep, the high points already been in the video. I also did a 45, so I, I cut up a 45 a little bit differently and did some etching in the back. Oh, sweet yeah. man. I like your skills. Uh Mr. Tech Fan Dan says nice job. Just, 704. You know, I just haven't got to mine yet, the only thing. That's a, I have I have more uh pressing matters than <laughs> than, than the high point mod, but um Yeah. About 20 projects beside that. One. Yeah. yeah so. so here's what I was going to show you, Walter. I don't know if you had yes, a thing. Sir. I know we're running down on time. So I went to this art show a couple of weeks ago with yes. Lola because um, she had to go to the art show and I went to hang out with her and look around. I like art. I'm, a, I'm an artist, creative guy. So I was looking. I was like, you know what? I hope there's something there that is that I consider art but is also gun related. And I came across this. I know you like the railroad spikes knives mm -hmm. so i thought you would like this check this out oh that's <laughs> cool that looks like something from a sci-fi movie <laughs> it is a railroad spike that is turned into what i'm assuming here is a soldier there's a backpack that's cool antenna on there he's got a you know like a gun did with the a guy did you, did you buy it from the people who made it or is it yes is it... i bought this from the people who made it and they are their name is right on here it's short line spikes is john and sadie for motto and uh they're short short align spikes at gmail.com here i'll put this up here i don't know if you guys can i don't know if the camera they gotta be gun people if they make that yeah, the camera i don't think the camera can no, really read catching. this but um no. short line spikes short so they, line spikes yeah short line spikes you know i thought this was really 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 cool they um they make a few none of them are the same so they make a couple of different ones and when i wanted this they put like another one there and i chose which one i think that's really 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 badass you know it comes up on since, google yeah, so you can check those guys out. Tell them you heard from you heard about them from Hank Strange. Are see, they, if you get, uh, see if you get the Hank Strange discount. And so I found I wanted to I didn't want to get just one, so I found another one. Check this out. This is a guy. To me, it looks like he's going hunting with his dog. Oh. See that? And then he has like a shotgun over his shoulder. Double barrel, double oh, barrel cool. shotgun right there. So you know everything that they do is not like gun related. Those those are just the gun related ones that I found. And well, uh, let me ask that. you, I found a one called Spike Art Inc., but I don't know if that's the same one. No, this one is Spike Line, which uh, I'm sorry, Short Line Spikes. Short Line, short line spikes. spikes. I don't know if they have here. Let me look up real quick and see if they have a website because I don't know. Um, but what do you guys think about that? That's cool. That is neat. Yeah. That's cool. I like that. I like yeah, that. Yeah. So, short line spikes, John Formato. Let me. Uh, maybe. Yeah, I, I think they have a Facebook. They have a face. If you if you search short line spikes, you'll probably come up with their Facebook page. Okay. Um, so that's the best I can do there. Okay. Like search short line, two separate words: S H O R T line L I N E spikes S P I K E S. Uh, and uh, the, the the guy's name is John Formato, and you will see that there's a uh, if if you're interested in it. I thought it was really cool. Yeah, yeah, I like that stuff. That's cool. 
Yeah, absolutely. Um, I know. It's creative. Yeah, I you know, I like the, the, the idea of mixing art and guns. You know? It's a good desk piece. Yeah, absolutely, you know. Yep. I had a feeling Walter was gonna like it. I should have gotten yeah. they didn't have a lot of gun. They didn't have a lot of like at, at the show, they they didn't have lots of options for gun related stuff. But um if if you don't find anything, Walter, and I see them again, I'll uh Okay. But their numbers okay. actually, you know what their numbers on here? And they have a it's uh seven one six eight six four seven four zero nine. Okay. So there's a yeah. phone number. And you can email them at shortlinespikes at gmail.com. Oh, okay. Okay. If you're interested. So that's a good way to get in that's touch cool. with those guys. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. You know, um, okay. Tyvin says, is asking me to post a picture on Instagram. So actually, that's a good idea, Tyvin. Yeah. I will do that and try. I don't know. I don't think they have an Instagram or anything. But what I'll do is when I post a picture, I'll try to take, um, take a picture of the bottom of that so you guys can see it. That that first one you put up kind of looked like, uh, like I said, it looked um, it that looked sci one? sci fi ish. Yeah, yeah that's what I like about. Yeah, it looks like a robot, right? Yeah, like a bot. Yeah, yeah it looks like yeah. a drone, kind of like walking through and. Uh, Roger, Roger. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You're right. It looks like one of the drones from uh, Star Wars. It's pretty cool, yeah. man. Which is so for all your Star Wars nuts, it's uh, gonna happen again here in a week or so. So. Oh, is that when Star Wars is coming back? Yeah, you know I what? So. I haven't even seen Thor, man. Did anyone out? Did you see Thor, Brian? Are you mm -hmm. into this stuff? No. Okay. Did you see? You didn't see Thor either, Walter, because you don't um, go to the movies. The wife and Spencer and the and the and the, and spent my wife and Spencer went. Oh, okay. Did they like it? Yes, they did. Yes, they did. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I haven't gotten a chance to see that. So. That day I went and just I was doing something by myself that day. So. Yeah. Yeah. I'd like to be able to go to movies again. Maybe when the kids grow up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> good luck with that one. <laughs> you know, it's gonna be years, my friend. <laughs> the movies might not even exist at that point now. Uh, Netflix. Netflix. <laughs> yeah, that we always have Netflix. Netflix. Oh, you know what was on Netflix today that uh, surprised me? Guardians of the Galaxy. I love that movie. Yeah. And the Guardians first one. of the Galaxy. No, two. Guardians oh, two? of the oh, Galaxy okay. Two is on Netflix, people. Uh, okay, okay, people. <laughs> Put that on rotation. Just play it, even if you're not watching. So that we can encourage Netflix to get more sci-fi movies because oh, okay. Netflix has the worst selection of sci-fi movies, man. It's really tough to get some good sci-fi movies on Netflix. I'm a big sci-fi fan. Peggy Killer Keller says, yes, she did see it. She saw it, um, yes. you know. Yes. So I am just not – what is this? Music Lover says, I am just nut, not Star Wars nut. I don't even <laughs> yeah, – I'm confused. I mean, I remember when the when, way back when, way back when, in a in a galaxy far, far away, when the movie first came out, back in like seventy seven. I'm like, oh, that's stupid, mm -hmm. you know. And I didn't see it till it got to the dollar theater, and mm -hmm. then I'm like, oh, not too bad, you know, mm -hmm. well, wasn't too bad, you know. I wasn't yeah. a big sci fi person. I probably probably had mixing drinks and sitting watching the thing and having a drink. When <laughs> yeah. My favorite movies are sci-fi movies. Um, I saw the Valerian and the what, whatever that movie was called. Valerian. I was disappointed in that because yeah, it's from the same guy that did Fifth Element, but Fifth Element's way better. Yeah, you know, I was disappointed. They spent a lot of money for no reason. So yeah. Uh, well, all right, so you know what? Let's wrap it up here. Okay, We've been going. Yeah, you know, I'm sure Brian. It sounds like the the kids are coming for you. <laughs> He's been running in and out, little man. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, he's like, what are you doing? Come on. Okay, so you know what? Let's wrap this up so you can go back to the family. Uh, you know, we thank you for coming on. Thank you uh, so much for having me. I really appreciate it. Oh, did you oh, get yeah. that box I sent you? Uh, no, I got, I'll got. i be back uh, at work tomorrow. I'll okay. check, okay. I'll check should, on it then. They should be getting it, yeah. I awesome. ship it there. It's They they sign for it. It's safe. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> good, <laughs> good. <laughs> um, I hope they don't open it because <laughs> then you might never see those things ever again. Or bang on it too hard one direction particularly. Um, anyways. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that sounds all kinds of wrong, Walter. So, you know, thanks for coming on, man. Uh, you, you've you been a great guest. We'd love to have you come on again. Uh, before, before we go here, would, you know, what kind of social media stuff would you like to tell folks out there to follow and all that? You know, my, go my, ahead and plug whatever you want. I have a Facebook and an Instagram, but I'm really um, trying to push the Instagram. I, I enjoy taking the photos and stuff while I'm out there. So, 
Okay, yeah. sweet. So let me see. I think I'm subscribed to you on Instagram. Let me make sure. Let's all make sure that we're subscribed to 704, 704. Tactical. 704 tactical and and by the way i i like run the instagram for big daddy guns so i'm gonna make sure i'm subscribed to you there as well thank you thank you that's yeah. where you guys will get a sneak peek of anything that's gonna happen will be on instagram okay i just followed you on there thank you and uh let me see i'm gonna go I, i'm pretty sure i'm following you on my instagram but i'm just gonna make sure because you never know it gets crazy sometimes so let's search that 704 Tactical. Seven, four. Uh, Underscore tactical. Boom. I'm following. I, I, I don't boom. know why I wasn't following you, but I am following you now. So, boom. thank you, sir. Yeah. Oh, you're welcome. And to everyone else out there, make sure you follow him. So, any other stuff do you want to make sure people uh, get out there and get behind? Um. You know, I I'm just just excited that I got to talk with you guys, and uh, glad I got this opportunity. So, thank you're you. You're welcome. Yeah, awesome. And congratulations on the video, man. That's really that's really awesome. I, I know it's like people don't realize like how much work goes into making YouTube videos. People think it's easy. Mm -hmm. Um and I and I've looked at your videos. You you know, like you try to put some production quality and value into what you do. You know, so it, I, I know it's like a good thing, man, to get that, Thank you know, you. get over a million. I'd love to see you hit two million. Um, and I know a big goal, like immediate goal right now is to hit 40,000. Hopefully it like just keeps going up from there, man. <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> Great. Uh, Walter, was there any things that you wanted to uh, share with the folks before we go? Uh, well, like I said, we still got the uh, compact entry stock for the CZ still on special. Get it while Absolutely. you can. Uh, introductory yeah. thing. Um, yeah. And it is, um, we'll work with the tail hook or you can get it SBR type. Yeah, standard stock. Actually, most of the orders we have right now are for the um, tail hook version. So that goes to show you how popular uh, the, the tail hook is. is. Yeah, and, that's uh, really cool. So, um, yeah, and, uh, and stay tuned. also show show us the fifty. Now, um, is there any kind of like special discount for? Is there like a seven hundred four discount on the fifty? <laughs> like uh, an extra? <laughs> not at the moment. Put, put <laughs> the pressure on. <laughs> well. You know, I could give all kinds of discounts, but if I don't have any barrels, and well, anyways, they're yeah. coming. Well, listen, so. if someone buys a 50 because they watch the video with 704, do him a favor and let Walter know that. You know, as, as YouTube guys, that helps us, man, that when, yeah. when people yeah. know that, you know, whatever we did helped bring attention to, to what they're doing. And so. we will be offering this 12-inch version here. Um, I'm having the barrels profiled right now. Those barrels I do have, and they're being profiled. Oh, cool, so. yeah, because uh, I got dibs. I got dibs. It's probably going to be, yeah. I mean, I could build you one just like this, Hank. I mean, but I, yeah, think, I thought yeah. you, I thought you wanted a longer barrel. Barrel. I, um, I want, I want all positions. Okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> all, um, all barrels. <laughs> those barrels, the first. I'm going to do ten of those at first. So if you're really interested in a short one, whether it's a, just an upper or a SPR or a pistol, let me know. Um, yeah, I think I'd like to get the short one, put a laser on it, and see what we can destroy yeah, with that bad boy. Yeah, I mean, you could. I mean, I, yeah, you can, you can do what you like, man. I don't tell you what to do, you know. You know, um, I, the, I think it's, I think the, it's a 20, for the robot apocalypse, man. $20 red dot, baby. Yeah. That's what uh, this thing's <laughs> twenty dollars red dot. Yeah, that's what seven hundred four says. You know, when that robot apocalypse comes, when Honda and all those companies over in Japan Honda. making those robots to come get us. It's a busy Honda. Yeah, Suzuki. when you when you look out your door one day and it's like red robot dawn. <laughs> Domo those, Elgato, Mister Robot. Yeah, you're gonna yeah. wish you had you a little, you know, a little fifty cal with a laser on it. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Oh yeah. Wait till they get lined up just right. You get three or four at one time. Boom. Um, anyways, yeah. So anyway, so yeah, these are gonna be available for anybody that wants a those kind of uh, that size of barrel, barrel, um, mm -hmm. along with the normal ones too. So okay, but that's cool. probably not gonna be till you know we're coming into the holidays and all that. So we're probably not gonna see those until after the first of the year. So, um, all right. But get your orders in. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so I want to uh, thank everyone for watching. Thank everyone for like sharing. The chat and all that kind of good stuff lots of good comments in there i hope we got to like all your questions um you know thanks a lot and uh, i want to thank everyone that sponsors us that would be like this dude right here safety harbor firearms of course ran clp andrew's custom leather i was talking to sam today before i came on air we're trying to do a live thing with sam and get him to 
to come on here. And Big Daddy, right up yeah, there. You can't course, see yes, that, but man. I can. Yeah, yeah, right there, the Big Daddy <laughs> Guns. We gotta thank those guys for looking out for us, of course. And uh, make sure you go check out Big Daddy Guns. I'm working on some stuff with Big Daddy Guns to like get a discount, like a locked-in discount and all that kind of stuff that I can get for you. Big Daddy Guns, it's, and it's not just for the people who are here in Gainesville, by the way. They're, they're not just in Gainesville, they're actually on Gun Broker and they have lots of things on Gun Broker. So if you see gun, it, oh look at that! <laughs> he's, had, he's totally had enough right now. <laughs> yeah. So thanks to Big Daddy Guns. Of course, we're on Patreon. It's uh, Patreon slash Hank Strange. We want to thank everyone for the support. Um, you know, thanks Walter for coming in. Of course, thanks for Kevin for uh, jumping in here and doing that. And big shout out to this dude right here, Seven Hundred Four Tactical. Thank you. Guys. Go subscribe to his channel for crying out loud. Get over there. Yeah, so we can, make him, we can make him give away some stuff. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, we're out of here. Peace. Right. See you guys later.